Waldo. Breakdown force blitz just a little bit. What are we going to see? We're going to see two up top. We're going to see two down on the line. And then we'll see one fighting in the incinerator. And honestly, you can run some different rotations through there. We'll see who decides to run the trick strat first. But honestly, I think we'll see some standard looks off the opening of the map. If you have to focus on one part of the map, is it going to be the control panel or in the wide open? Uh, it's going to be down in mid-cut, honestly, right. because that's where the players are going to be starting to rotate through. That's what I like to hear. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to kick things off right here on Forge Blitz. Ghost Gaming, Space Station Gaming, Fallout and PR, take it away. Thank you so much, Belly, and Gears of War, fans of esports alike, get ready for the Clash of the Titans, Ghost Gaming and Space Station Gaming, two of the premier organizations in our scene, will be battling again, a rematch of Vegas, where Ghost Gaming got the best of them. Let's see if Space Station can bounce back. Yep, it's like we talked about already, 2v2 up top, Speedy and Rushies versus what looks like Jack and Crazed. We jump on board rushing to start this one for us and this is where they're gonna try and double take up top and this is what you typically see ghost gaming do they just wolf pack together and try to make it happen that's why rushy's getting his first down picking up that kill speedy gonna go down on the flip side rushy's doing what he can to clean that one up so the first initial up top is gonna go in favor of ghost yep, there you go we talked about stopping them early ghost gaming looking to snowball turn into an avalanche here as rushy's in speedy with a great start identives wins the 1v1 over crim that's another key matchup we got to keep an eye out for identives versus crim in that one versus one spot and ghost Gaming off to a strong start here. Adenovus being the annoying player that he is, and that's one of the great things that Waldo talked about earlier on about he's now in these fights. So anything that could go in the favor of Space Station, they need to make sure to shut down Adenovus because if you let him go too long, he's going to get out alive and then do something like you just saw get a kill, get a cap, or something like that to make you pay. Now, this is a big decision here for Space Station because that up top fight, we talked about it, how crucial it is. I was just going to say exactly this. A boom shot placement completely changes that conversation. It makes it less about that fight up top between Rushies and Speedy, more about the three mid. You can run some trick strats, and you can really run a variation of strats. An interesting decision here. If Space Station does this, that's a bold statement. And here we go. A boom shot already in the middle of the map here. Expect things to heat up. I honestly think that boom shot was going to go down regardless. I know. Like I mentioned Waldo again, he was talking about what is the more important part of the map. I, I was going to say it's down low because I'm thinking more than likely by round three, we see it in round one, that boom shot's going to go to the middle. Yeah, well said, PR. Let's see what initial strats we're going to see from both teams. It looks like we have one up top, three middle. We called it. Identities and Crimson's in the 1v1 over by Incinerator. I believe that is Rushies up top. It was actually Rushies. Yeah, no, Rushies went down low. Rushies is the typical player up top. A little bit of trick shot on the side of Ghost Gaming. Rushies getting that kill of Craze, taking out his teammate. Man advantage is going to go in favor of Space Station early on. Rushies, he has one more boom. It's all about how and when he uses it. You don't want to use it too early. You don't want to use it too late. But instead, you're going to choose to use it on Jack. Another fight going down between Sleepy Time and Hydro. He's going to get the best of him there. Krim cleaning that one up. But I think it's going to be another double initial. For those of you guys who don't know what a double initial is, you have your initial strategy when you spawn up. But if nobody has the hill or position, you send the guys off of respawn and do that again. So this is our double initial. Wow. The same thing times two here. Speedy going to take out Craze. Big fight over towards the B hill. Keep in mind, the boom shot is not in possession anymore by their team. So it's pure Lancer, Nasher, Pistol. That spot, he's gonna get taken out. Phelpsy grabs another two kills for Space Station, and finally, we're gonna see our first capture of the game here. And what I notice here is that neither team has home hill. That means they fought off the rip on that side of the map. A one v one, they were playing for angles or some sort of cut. So. I want to ask you, what do we expect to see out of Ghost Gaming off the respawns here? Are they going to go for home away hill push? Uh, Dead Cell Car, yeah, that is here, our overhead map. Three members of Ghost Gaming already pushing up a fourth and a fifth coming off of respawn. So it does look like they're going to play for a double home setup, but they need to make sure to watch their backs at the same time. But while they're watching the back, they need to watch the front. Speedy Rushies, the duo, making it happen early on here as they take out two man advantage in favor of Ghost Gaming. PR, you may have seen that on the corner of your screen. You've seen this probably hundreds of times. Rushy's doing what we call a sneaky man. It's, he's probably invented it. He's probably the best at it. He literally just sits still for 20 seconds, hides, and then flanks, and it pulls, works off perfectly right there. He's able to pick up a kill. And now, Ghost Gaming, a, a better rotation than Space Station, in my opinion. Fight and security going down. Lots of trades coming out. Space Station going to get the best of them in that exchange. But as I said, that's going to be a 3v3 on the map. You can expect players to rotate over the double home setup for Ghost still intact. 
In the end, they're also going to try and move towards B. You see three members on B for Ghost. Make that two for Space Station. Another one taken out. Triple Cap coming out for just the moment on B. Nobody from Space Station even got off spawn to retake C. Yeah, well done from Ghost. And right now, Ghost Gaming is literally all over these rotations. They're out rotating, out playing, and out maneuvering Space Station. It's showing the way they push home and away hills, the way they rotated the V hill right there, and now they're scared of recap domination. Ghost Gaming's comms and rotations are on point. This is a good shot coming out from Speedy again. Five dead, make that four as Krim is respawning. Not enough time to get the touch. So Ghost Gaming coming out strong two rounds in a row, but this one was a three minute round. It, it, it almost went the distance for both of these teams. And, and you gotta wonder, is this gonna be another nail biter or is Space Station gonna roll over as they already trail two rounds to Ghost Gaming? And we talked about their comms. We talked about their rotations. Who's calling it? Is it Fatal Strike? Is it Sleepy? Is it Speedy? Let's go ahead and jump in with an Astro Gaming listen and with Ghost Gaming to hear what they're all about. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck that shit, bro. Fuck us up right now. Bro, listen to me, bro. Pay bro, attention yeah, to listening, bro, because there's a little ass thing that you guys aren't bro. listening to that are low-key are big plays. Okay, okay, let's control our volume then so we can hear each other. Okay. Let's go, bro. Same fucking fight, bro. Boys, take your guys, your guys, your guys, your guys. Uh, I'm a, I'm a smoke my cap top. I'm flying their square, bro. I'm flanking their. Okay, 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 okay. So rush. I'm literally gonna focus the kid on their fucking. Rush, line. rush. Keep telling us how far you are. Like you're on your square, you're on the line, shit like that. Okay, yeah. dude. Go fuck that kid. Fuck that kid. Yo, I got smoke to his left, bro. He's done, Yaddy. He's done, Yaddy. I'm in the square, I'm in the square, I'm in the square, I'm in the square. Yo, we have him. We all look at him. 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 Look I'm gonna be up in six seconds, bro. Five, I'm up in nine. four, I think they win, bro. three, are they? Two. Yeah, it's not on the home. It's not on the home. They're not on the home. They're about to get there now. Yeah. No, they're making, they're making, they're making, they're making, they're making, they're making, they're making the room. Bro, I swear to God, I'm letting a life put a double mark so far. Oh, no, no, no. Put that, put that, put that. Okay, put that. Okay, baby. Give me, give me, give me, give me a turbo. You sure you don't want to put the? You sure? No, give me a turbo. Give me a turbo. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. No, no, no. There you have it. You hear him talking through strategies for the next round. An interesting one, not of course in the favor of Ghost Gaming, but PR. We heard a couple things there. We heard a strat call from Rushies. He says, I'm gonna push their square than their line and I like the comments from Rezik as well what did we really just hear I basically Rezik just wanted a little bit of updates of where Rushies is and the reason why that is so important is because as Rushies gonna get that flank they're gonna be like hey Rushies is flanking us Rushies is flanking that's gonna force them to turn around and that's gonna give Rezik the perfect opportunity to try and push up and get some kills unfortunately it didn't work out for them yep, an interesting weapon choice I like this from Ghost they're gonna place the Torpo up top which re adds some value up top in that fight. Rushies is confident in the one versus one against Jack. He's actually gonna quick grab Torque and sneak out here. Nice shot by Rushies. Good go. Yeah, he quick grabbed it and he's actually trying to charge it and put it to use. You know, early on in this tournament on Friday, he played against God Plays in one of those oh, Astro oh. listenings right there. Rushies <laughs> taking out Jack. But like I said, as, during those Astro listening, God Plays didn't know what to do and didn't know how Rushies was getting there so fast. And Rushies is using that same strategy. Rushies, a little over aggressive, overzealous there. He's gonna get taken out finally, but that first torque he got was beautiful on Jack High side. Still, a double initial again might be in the in the uh, works here. Boom shot now in the hands of Krim. They should be able to use his boom and his numbers advantage to take this first down. Look at this, Phelpsy grabs the torque and makes use of it. Yep, Identif's last member alive, Fort Ghost Gaming. He's gonna try and be annoying, try to prolong the time, but if you're Space Station, you try and get in that hill, ill advised boom by Krim, making him dance around. Identif's taken out, finally. He's actually gonna tie him. You haven't really seen this since Gears of War 3's King of the Hill, so great heads up smarts by Krim. Yeah, wow. So what, what PR means right there by, by timing him is he's gonna leave Identif's down, but not out. He's not gonna kill him, so the respawn timer won't start, and Identif's is forced out of the game for another five, six seconds there by Krim. You only wanna do it typically against some of the best players on their team, so it shows the respect they have for Identives. Wanted to make sure he's out. Look, Identives is nowhere to be found. Yep, 100% right there. So, like Fallout said, that, that was a huge tactic in Gears of War 3's King of the Hill on those wave respawns. Brought it here in Gears of War 4, and now that everyone's seen him do it, I can expect it more and more as the season goes on. Yep, there you have it. Maybe a new meta, finally. I've been waiting for some timing to happen. We saw in Gears 3 all the time. Of course, the reason for Gears 3 was there was uh, wave respawn timers, not set respawn timers. So you could catch someone, they'd be stuck with a 15-second spawn, or you'd kill them and they'd have a four-second respawn. The inconsistency there caused it to happen a lot more often. Or, or you do what I like to do in Gears uh -huh. 3, and you Y button them, and you get a 40-second respawn timer. <laughs> you are the king of trolling in Gears 3. That's for sure. I, I teamed with you for an event. I know all about it. And now, Marx is placed here. 
Interesting. Speedy has it in his hands. Phelpsy in the other hands. And we saw Kyle dominant with that weapon last match against Space Station. Echo Fox and Space Station. See what they can do here. Early shots going down from Phelps, but Craze is down. Hydro's gonna fall to Rezik, so that's a double kill in favor of Ghost Gaming. And they're already forcing Phelps to go around the other side of the map, but it might work out for Space Station as they're gonna get that kill on Identif. Speedy with the boom shot. So even though they did get around on that rotation and do what they needed to do, Ghost Gaming still got the advantage. Yeah, well said. I like the rotation from Phelps. But it's interesting to see how they play this now. And of course, it's gonna be a Torquo on Krim. Huge play. Phelpsy now gonna be forced to fight an army of Ghost Gaming members. He's gonna dodge one boom. Smoke is gonna come through here, and a team kill for Phelpsy. That's gonna be costly, but a team kill is gonna be neutralized with Speedy of his own. Yep. Speedy, one of the better boom shots Ooh. on Ghost Gaming. If you switch on over to Rush, he's gonna have to run away with that bow. And Rush is one of those players that he can bounce around and do almost anything as he gets that bow kill. Even though Speedy is known for the bow on Ghost Gaming, Rush is one of those players he can literally do whatever is needed to do for his team. Man, Rush is such a top, top player. If Ghost Gaming can win a couple more championships in the season, honestly, I'd put him in the running for MVP. Alongside Mental Explosives and the likes, Rushy's an impact player, undoubtedly. 11 kills already for him. Here we go, Rezik heating up, going for a double. It's gonna be Rushy who picks it up instead. Two versus one fight. Phelpsy is gonna get taken out as well here, and now the three count domination is just moments away. King Crazed coming from Scotland. Let's see if he can go on top. No, he gets shut down as well, and just like that, Ghost Gaming goes up 3-2. to two. And So far, no weapons have respawned. So once that sick. weapon, whether it be the boom shot or the bow that's picked up, in less than two minutes, the round has been over. And that's been a trend here. These quick rounds going back and forth for both of these teams. Ghost still seems to be the ones on top here. They're making all the moves for their teams. If you look back at them, Space Station have to drop this weapon. They were the ones to drop the boom shot. And now it's all about what you're going to do here. Big decision, PR. I think, yeah, yeah I think they're right. You got to get rid of those torques. Yeah, the torque that Rush Seas was able to put to use. I mean, he picked up, what, three or four with them? Picked up a kill on Krim cross map, a nice 180 on Jack. This man was heating up with that torque bow. Rush Seas, 13 kills. You're going to try and diminish that. The weakest of the bunch, I'd say Instance. You don't want to give him a sniper. I'd say Instance is the right choice. I, I think Instance is all situational. And, and it's not necessarily a team-type grenade as opposed to the grenades. Yeah, you can get some Instance, but you, you don't really <gasps> see... Phelpsy, that, that was from security, too. Wow. From security, two pockets. He's going to pick up one rush. He's again is just abusing Jack in the fight up top. Krim going to win the 1v1 against Identives. And Rushy, Rushy's actually, that's going to be speed. He picks up the headshot on Craze with the Marksa. Jordan, how you got that kill? Because you do have to execute your opponent, which means you have to be within three feet to kill them, unless you can get a headshot with a weapon like a Marksa or a sniper. Boom shot still in play. Lots of fights going down. This is where you can typically see another double initial as soon as these players spawn up. Unless Ghost Gaming can continue to put this pressure, as you see a missed shot by Rushies there for just a moment. Boom shot, like I said, still in play. Rezik's going to be the one to get that boom shot. And the man advantage, too, dead on the side of Space Station. Make that three as Rushies crowds behind Krimic, shotties him down. This is where the boom shot could be pivotal for Rezik. They can continue to push forward and use numbers to get numbers. I wouldn't waste the boom shot here, but if you use it sooner rather than later, ooh, it wouldn't be too bad. But like I said, you don't want to use that boom shot. And the reason why you don't want to use the boom shot is because it's one solo player. You can easily cross him out, and then you have two boom shots to use on their home, like you should see right here. Yep, well said, Jar. Hold that boom, save it for a rainy day, and that's that exactly what's going to happen. Actually, no, he's going to slightly miss that boom there. Slight misplay for Rezik. And now Space Station, thanks to Hydrone, and this play, actually, I should say thanks to Rezik. He's going to be back in this one. Like I said, if you're a space station, you need to hit Ghost Gaming hard early on. Best you can do here is have it tied up at the half. And with two boom shots already used, at least they have the five men up. And they can start to make their move, start to make a little bit of a comeback here. But if they're going to do it, they need to do it sooner rather than later. Because if you go down too far, Incense are already up up top. They're going to be in favor of Ghost Gaming. Boom shot is in about a minute. My bad. In favor of Space Station. But boom shot in about a minute. You can expect Space Station to try and gain control of this middle. Yeah, so, yeah especially given that he has incense. He's actually going to use that to trap Rushies. Rushies is going to be tagged up full red. Can Rushies go down? No, he somehow manages to stay alive. And I think you use that second instant. I think you isolate Rushies and try and get that kill instead. They let Rushies survive there. And you're right, you're spot on, PR. You want to use those instants to gain boom control. Boom shot is up in 34 seconds. And this is where... In my opinion, it, it might be a little bit of a stalemate. If Space Station chooses to push too early and dies, that's going to give up control of that boom shot that goes. But if they win the fight, they win the boom shot and possibly win the round. Rush is isolated. He's marked, though. He's trying hiding in the corner. Sneaky manning again. Not going to work there when he's marked by Craze. Now they have a five on four. Numbers advantage. Phelpsy goes down. 
Marksless kill is going to be picked up. Nice shot by Speedy. One versus one up top. This is a big one. Jack versus Identives, and Identives is going to come out on top. Yep, the boom shot about to come up in like three seconds. It does look like Ghost has the advantage by one man in order to get that boom shot. Identives with the fight spots Krim. We've seen this happen against the Echo Fox matchup. Kenny missed his shot. Krim got a double kill. Identives missing his advantage. He's actually rotating around. Put full red. Not able to be taken down just yet. So boom shot in the hands of Ghost Gaming. And a triple cap opportunity. A looks like it's going to be capped all the way. No touches coming out. Ghost Gaming 4-2 going into the half. Showing that this was what we needed. Looking strong is the Ghost Gaming squad. However, on the other side of the stage, we have Space Station GG, the team representing not only an entire nation, an entire region, coming over from Europe, undoubtedly the best team in European Gears of War history, and they've made their mark in the international circuit here. I know they have a lot of fans too. Seeing them in Mexico City, these fans went crazy for the international team. Let's see what Space Station can do to bounce back in the second half. And typically on this side, you see very similar strategy to the first half, except the middle part changes just a little bit. If you see our overhead map, it does look like Ghost Gaming should do a little bit of a trick strategy. Look at this. This is an intentional Ghost Gaming strat. Oh, Rushy was so close there. He's going to rotate and get out of there. Nice job by Rushy's. PR, is this, is this a new thing? Because this is the second time in a row here I've seen Rushy's fight a 1v2 at the start of a round. I, I don't think the plan is for him to fight a 1v2 as much as Fuck when yeah. he goes up there, he's just so fast that he doesn't have enough time to count the one or the two numbers, but that's how he's getting, he was getting the bows so fast on his opposition. He just does what he wants to do, and by the time he probably saw the two numbers, then it was already too late, he couldn't get out of it. So well played from Jack right there on the flip side. 1v1 over Speedy, that was all Jack all day. Jack, the newcomer to the Space Station roster. If you have yet to see the triple kill clip that Jack had against Echo Fox. Go to MLG's Twitter, at MLG, and check that out right now. It was disgusting. I called it a $10,000 clip on my Twitter just because it was that good. I think it went on the match. Rushes. Getting that cap on E. Put full red force out of it. It does look like Space Station choosing to play for the double home setup. And I personally don't like the double home setup on Forge simply because... Oh my god, speed. Sleep, I should say. But I don't like that double hill setup on Forge because you can actually touch the hill with Spawn Shield. With Spawn Shield. You with Spawn Shield. Yeah. So usually you kind of sacrifice your guy, just run in there, and one of you know he's not going to die. Get that Spawn Shield, get the touch. That's why I don't typically like it. But you see the fight going down. Ghost Gaming turning the tides, making it in their favor. 1v1 gets Rush. He's going to win that exchange. Rush is keeping it going, playing it smart. Knows Jack's around, goes around his backside, gets him. Knows Grim's there as well, goes for the cheeky melee, gets taken out. Giving Krim and Space Station a chance. Krim is going to stay alive here. Another tough going to come through for Craze. Craze going to pick up one. So staying alive, and if they can survive this right here, they can still win this round here, PR. Only down by about 50 points. They're going to let Krim tap up. Smart decisions, and Space Station stays alive. See E being decapped as well for that moment. Oh. That's big. That is big by Speedy. Not only did he stop it from being decapped, he got a kill. This is going to give Ghost Gaming an advantage, and I know they're going to want to move quick on this one, especially with the lead, because if not, that's going to give Space Station a second chance to set up and a second chance to retake. And that's a beautiful use of the incinerator button right there. I know Michael AOS, one of the level designers at the Coalition, is smiling at home right now watching as design pick kill picked up, and that's going to save the a uh, good opportunity. It's going to increase their, their score lead by 70 points here, 60 points. And now they have to go for a triple cap, essentially. Space Station backs up against the wall here in this round. Possibly even in this map as Ghost Gaming are up 4-2. to two. Identives, very patient. He knows you went off with one hill. Yep, they have to big. push into us, and we just need to sit back and catch somebody on rotation. So triple cap is needed. If you guys don't know what that means at home, that means the three hills will get you a round win instantly. You can't win off with points. It's first to 210 points. So what Space Station needs to do, the only way they can win is if they get three captures, all three hills immediately. That's called a domination. It's not looking good right now as look at Ghost Gaming just completely shutting this down. Krim finally going to go 1v, but it's too little too late. Okay. See the hills were decapped for that moment. Ghost Gaming had no worries because the lead was so big. They had plenty of time to, to make sure to move around the map. You see Ghost Gaming standing up, talking their talk, newcomer Rezik. What is Danny this, saying they're done. They are done. And you said it, PR, you have to start strong against this Ghost Gaming roster. If you let them start rolling, they turn into a steam train and run through their opposition every single time. That's what Optic Gaming does so well against them. They match up well. They never let them get that momentum. But hey, this Ghost Gaming squad can get going in this uh, winner's bracket or loser's bracket final and potentially championship final. I think we can see a good match. There's only one weapon placement I think that'll save Space Station here. Boom shot? Uh, boom shot up top, though. 
not just boom shot. Boom Wait, shot. You think up they should top. fight Speedy and Rushy's up top for boom? It wouldn't be a Speedy versus Rushy. It'd be three v three. Nineteen smokes up top. No one could see anybody, <laughs> and it'd just be individually skill based, and that throws most of the strategy out the window. Yeah, interesting call right there. I gotta say, I, I don't know if it's the only one plays it, but I agree. I think that could be a good move there for Space Station. Turn this into a flip of a coin almost. You, what you're doing isn't working. You're not outplaying them. In my opinion, I don't know what the, the scoreboard is, but I, I want to take a look and see Phelps' stats. I want to see Phelps' step up here. As, uh, he, has, he hasn't made a uh, big noise yet. Crim. Takes out one. Look at Rushies. Running around the other side of the map, completely by himself here. Now finally, rotation's gonna come through. Crazy comes on the flank, and Rushies just can't die. It's impossible. Is Rushy still alive? And getting a kill on Craze. Speedy sacrificing himself for the button and getting yes. a double kill for it. So even though they did die to double kill Jack up top, Speedy got a double kill down low, stopping E from even wow. being capped and forcing them all around the map to make their next move. So Speedy with a heads up play. Someone sneaky manning. That's Identus. Big one versus one. Jack has won against Speedy. He's won against Rushies. And Jack is going to win the one versus one against Identus as well. Someone stop this man because he's an absolute tear. Can't That's why me shit. and Momo started to call him double kill Jack. <laughs> he, he can't just get one. He has to get to almost every single time, but if you look at those gaming, the duo pushing across, trying to make something happen. Rushy's taking out Jack. Fight's still going to continue on. That's going to be Sleepy across from McCraze, trying to even up the fight for himself and his team. Sleepy stuck on that island box by himself, finally taken out by Krim. This is where Space Station has an opportunity to continue pushing forward, but they need to do it as a team, and they make sure they don't take any unnecessary 50-50s. That's the movement from Krim that I was talking about, the teleportation-esque movement. It, it's a new meta. It's, honestly, it's not something I saw much of in Season 1. Powers was the first person I saw do it. Krim is number two that really, really uh, take advantage of the movement system and move in such a unique way. That's two downs for Ghost Gaming. Now they're going to push up again. Rebot coming out and the button push. The one free kill. He actually team killed his teammate. I, I don't think I disagree with that because now they can't break the hill. But at the same time, you, you got to wonder, where was that button press sooner? Uh, yeah, no, I completely agree right there. It's, it's, a, it's a good button press, but not going to matter. Ghost Gaming doing a good job wolf packing. Crazed, forced to back out and retreat. Two hills to one. 20 point lead here for Space Station. Keep a close eye at the top left of your screen. That scoreboard is ever important. First to 210. We'll get the round win. Speedy's down, so that's gonna let Ghost Gaming just kind of set up. You know, they're not gonna do anything, but Rushy's actually going all the way around through the spawn with wow. Mr. Krabs play. I do believe Space Station's gonna touch E, but a great heads up IQ play by Rushy's. Now E Hill's gonna be broken, but look, Ghost Gaming's gonna keep their lead here. It's okay, let Rushy's do that. If you can keep taking your numbers elsewhere, you had two dead, and Rushies was out of the game. So take your three on one on the other side of the map. Let Rushies sit back there. Finally, they're going to let Hydra off the spawn kill him. Smart plays for Space Station. Might have been a little too late here. This is going to be a close one, PR. It's going to come down to the wire. 15-point lead. But I, I know Joe, on his wristband, and everyone's been talking about, he has an NFL football wristband. One thing he has in there is really interesting. It's about weapon uh, 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 hill times. And he might be able to use that to his advantage right now. But if he has that, he needs to know Ghost Gaming needs to make this push because they do come back with two. So Ghost Gaming's going to have to make the move, which you see on your screen right now. Speedy going for the decap, and Ghost Gaming has the lead. So this is looking good for Ghost. Sleepy taken out, though. Hydrone is going to be taken out by Speedy. It's all even up here on the home hill. And Space Station needs to not only win, but cap the hill as well. But that's going to be Speedy coming out on top. Ghost Gaming squeak away with this one. And now they're on map point. Wow. Ghost Gaming, thanks to Speedy, and I think it was Sleepy you said? Yep. In that two versus two fight, they come out on top, and Ghost is now one round away Let's from go. almost Let's sweeping. Go. Round map number one here. Such a strong start from Ghost. They're activating their true form, that's for sure. We all know how good they can be when they're hot. And this is exactly what you want if you're a Ghost Gaming fan. Catch fire in that loser's bracket final and come to the championship final with that same heat against Optic Gaming. This is... Space Station's very lap last weapon placement if they're looking to come back into this one. And they hover a drop shot over Incinerator. Last time I seen this, it was Echo Fox's Echo Fox versus Reciprocity. And it was Vital Sam time and time again going into that Incinerator and getting out with the drop shot. So uh, interesting to see how the strategy is going to play out with these two teams instead. So Rushies and Speedy, each with about 20 plus kills. The duo that we all know. And again, Rushy's completely by himself up top for now. Keep my drop shot there, so maybe a 1v1. Rezik hovering towards that E. He'll keep in mind the button can be pressed at the control room, which will allow them to win that to actually burst an incinerator down and disallow anyone from grabbing that E. He'll or that drop shot. Nobody 
making moves oh. just yet, but on the side of your screen right there, that's going to be Hydro being the aggressor. Phelpsy is down. Resic trying to clean that one up, but he's not going to be able to. Two kills going in favor of Space Station. Make that three kills, so they have an opportunity here to push forward. And as these rounds get long and longer, that's going to be the respawn timer. Make it to where you can kind of push forward. And now, major defense going to be needed here from Ghost Gaming. They have to survive long enough for the player respawns to come through. And there's barely any offense from Space Station Gaming. And finally, the drop shot's going to be rotated. It's going to be Phelpsy, who picks up one. Looking to get the second. Not able to capitalize just yet. And now Ghost Gaming will be off of respawns. Here comes the push. Backs up against the wall. Space Station getting as much damage out as they can. They're going to go in for this decap next. Last member alive is going to be Sleepy Time. Is he going to be able to get the touch? He does have spawn shield, so he is going to be able to get the touch and the trade. Rezek, he spawned at the wrong time. He's not close enough to get the touch. Space Station finally showing some life. However, it's still 6-3 to three map point for Ghost Gaming. And this is where you kind of wonder what type of weapon are they going to put? Are they going to put something up top like the m bar to where rushes can use it again? Or maybe a torque boat for Speedy? Or are they going to go with a boom shot in the middle? Kind of how they were winning those rounds before. Interesting decision here. I would opt for an up top placement. I, mean, I think you give something to Rush. He's up there. Give him a reward for winning his fight. We'll see what Ghost Gaming chooses here. But I think we're going to see that. Yep. Ensign's being hovered up top. Rush is quick picking. He's having his way. He's one step ahead. And he's going to have a Torque Bow if he keeps that up. Torque Bow placed up top in that control tower. So one versus one for the Torque Bow. You're going to have two over towards the E Hill for the drop shot, if not three. And of course, a couple players playing in the open side towards the cuts where the old B Hill was. See the overhead map, similar strategies yet again. Two people towards up top. Oh, no one grabbing their home hill for space stations. You know Ghost Game is going to make that call here. They're going to have to send three over to E-Hill e instead, I believe. Here comes Rush. He's, Rush, he's going to connect for one. Phelpsy grabs the drop shot already. The button's not going to be pressed here, so Phelpsy can use that drop shot. And all eyes on Craze. Craze is going to down one. Speedy versus Craze here. He's not going to be able to pick up one. Phelps, he did put that drop shot to use across the map, taking out Identifs. First bow for Speedy, not able to connect with anything. Rush is going to die as well. Space Station looking like they're gaining some traction here in this round. Button push for Speedy. Smart heads up play, making it where they can't cap right away. Buying his teammates time off spot, getting one, not able to get two as crazy. Oh, oh, he takes him out. I can, you cannot die right there with your Hydro. And that's a pure two versus one. They're starting to get momentum. You can capitalize that momentum into a three cap. Instead, Hydro dead. That leaves them in a four on three instead of a five on three, which is a huge, huge difference in this pro level. And we're finally going for that cap. First point on the board for Space Station. They do trail roughly 50 plus points. But with two hills in their favor, they'll slowly chip away at that lead. Krim taken out. That's going to be Identos being the aggressor. He's going to be taken down next. Phelpsy with the drop shot taken out. Rezix. Oh my gosh, Phelpsy. Four drop shots, three kills for him. He's going to heat up now with that drop shot. I called him out in the first half. I didn't see much from him there. But in this second half, make that four drop shots, four kills. Phelpsy is going off. It does look like it's a round going in favor of Space Station. Make that six to four. Space Station slowly chipping away at this lead of Ghost Gaming's one round at a time. And that's exactly how I would play this match. One round at a time. You don't want to get tunnel vision. You don't want to get overhyped to where you just gain false confidence on the side of Ghost Gaming. Yes. Every single round you lose is another opportunity to make the map how you want to play it. And, and in my opinion, it, instance, interesting to see. What's the thought process there? You think that the Fatal Strike call gets, gets in the minds of Ghost Gaming here? I think they typically, uh, as a collective group, they probably just didn't want two big weapons on the map at the same time, especially since for the majority of the time they are winning these rounds. They just fell two in a row, however. So just a set of incendiary grenades, as of course our flame grenades, will kill you directly upon impact. So still lethal, but not nearly the likes of a boom shot or an M bar. Let's see what's going to happen here. Hydron in the 1v. He's going to get the good smoke on Sleepy. If I'm Hydra, I'm playing this with aggression here. Well, finally, finally at the reset, he's going to get taken out for that aggression. Phelpsy Jack, though, they pick up two. Rushies, I think, playing low side here. Yeah, we're doing I'll maybe a little that. bit of a trick shot. That's going to be crazy with the torque. It was a trick shot from Ghost, you're right. Yeah. Rushies low. Oh, no. The flank Speedy. coming out from Speedy. And the worst thing you could. Did the, did the drop, or did the torque fall forward? Not sure there. I think it did fall down towards the middle of the map. Jack continues to perform. Another kill on Sleepy. 14 kills for him. Phelpsy had about 18. A couple members of Space Station are starting to heat up here. You know how they can get dangerous if that's the case. Boom. Jump shot was not picked up yet, or was it still? I don't think it was. I'm looking around, trying to look through all these weapons. I don't think it was picked up just yet. It's there it is. Thing being pressed. Phelps with a drop shot. Rest of his teammates picking up some kills, so this could look good for them. But 
He's gonna be taken out by Speedy. Speedy with a double kill, trying to go for three on Hydro, and finally taken out. But that was big plays by Speedy for that time. At least Phelpsy was killed. Drop shot now in the hands of Praise. First one went out, not no. able to connect with anything. Second one coming out, able to connect with Sleepy this time around, but two drop shots left. And with the way this is going, with longer respawn times fallout, this could look like it's gonna go in favor of Space Station. They got They can make the correct moves. They need to string this into a couple kills here. The revive's gonna come through for Ghost. They didn't get that kill. So the self revive came to look at Rushies. I think that's Rushies being sneaky again. Yes, it is. Rushies. Sneaky Manning again. He's full red. He's going to get taken out here. Five on four. Opportunity for Space Station. You could feel the, in the intensity building and the suspense rising as Space Station looking to lift off here to a 5-6 deficit. Big one versus one. A beautiful back A from Hydra. And he needs to be careful. People are going to be spawning up right behind him. Yeah, it's actually going to be rushed. He's in roughly three seconds spawning up behind him. But he knows that's coming. He knows I need to get out of the spawn. He's going to do just that. But as I say that, he's going to be sneaky. He's taking the page out of Rushy's playbook right here. He's going to be sneaky. Get that cross on Sleepy Time. Getting him taken down. Triple cap. Looks like he's going to come out in favor of Space Station. I don't see anybody. Hill. But that's actually what, exactly what you said. Guess who it is again? None other than Rushman himself. Mr. Sneaky. From Mr. Deeds, I swear to God, it's him. He's reborn. Sneaky, you know, sneaky. I think Good I rush. took a page out of Ribs' playbook. There it is. From the time on Ghost Gaming. My man Jay Ribs taught some people some things. Rushy's going to make the play. He's going to go down. The Lancer Cross is going to come through. The Lancer Cross is too strong here as both members go down. And Space Station down by four points, down in hill control. But they have a nice five on two opportunity here. They need to take their numbers. Triple Cap coming out, Speedy and Sleepy both down. So one more round added to the total. Make that 6-5, still in favor of Ghost. But like I said before, round after round, this looks like a comeback in lieu of Space Station. They need to keep this up. And this is where you're on wow. the side of Ghost Gaming. Are you worried? Showing. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit worried. That many rounds in a row. I'm a little bit worried if I'm Ghost. I, I was going to say the opposite a couple rounds ago. When you have a 6-2 lead, it's near impossible to come back. Very few times. In the history of Gears Esports, have we seen a team bounce back from a 6-2 deficit? We've seen it once this tournament. Might see it a second time here if Space Station can do some big things. Meanwhile, here's some energy behind us. That's the two versus two boxes finals, or semifinals, actually. J Ribs against Incisive and Ash, the European team coming over as well. Uh, they have an interesting, yeah, I don't, don't want to talk too much about the 2v2, yes. but I know they have an interesting strategy. A lot of the time, from what I'm hearing, is they like to stay in spawn in the boxes. Interesting. Russians. Sneaks in, sneaks out. Trade of kills right now. Four on four. Speedy does have the instants, I believe. Frag grenades in the hands of Krim. They did replace the drop shot, I think. So drop shot is out of the game here. Now Jack is playing with aggression. Rushies, I think you isolate him. It's late rounds. He's alone. You cannot let Rushies do Rushies things. He gets taken out here. And now, all eyes on that E-Hill to one versus one. Phelps is going to rotate through. Huge one versus one. Speedy's going to be tagged up. He is going to go down as well. And now the three cap domination is coming through all up to Identives. Identives in a world of hurt. And just like that, Space Station, they take him out as well. Second time, the only one alive. He's going to get that touch. He's going to get that reset. Oh. And he's going to get a kill. That is a big trade for Sleepy Time, especially with Rezik and Rushy spawning up with that spawn shield. They could be the next ones to get the kill. Is it going to connect with anything? What a cheeky angle there from Jack trying to get it through the pipe. Grenade going to come out, get a kill on Sleepy. Oh Rushy my gosh. Ghost can. Gaming. Is holding on again. You said the, the uh, spawn protection. The spawn protection is going to come to fruition. One down. Double kill pick up. It's a one versus one for the game here. It is Identives versus Craze. And Hydro actually is going to be the one to pick that up. He's going to throw in a teabag as well. Oh my goodness. Space Station Gaming is going to round 13. This is looking like a complete and utter ghost gaming meltdown right before our eyes. What would you say? It was a 6 to 2 lead. Ghost Gaming over Space Station. Now we're all knotted up at 6 apiece going into our round number. 13 ghost gaming have a huge decision ahead of themselves what weapon are we going to place and it looks like they're hovering over that boom no. shot and that's right. something oh. i thought was going to be earlier on in this matchup yeah. what are we going to see here uh, we're going to see an all-out brawl we're going to might see either a 1v1 up top three middle one on the low side that is your typical strategy on these types of rounds it all comes down to this. Round number 13, a boom shot was placed. I could not have written a better story here as we are jumping in to an Astro Gaming listening with Ghost Gaming. Guys, can you hear Bang? I did, I did, I did. You can press one, or you press the red. 
It's over. Yeah, boom, they have boom, they have boom. You lost. Bro, you got it. I bro. got caught by three times. Bro, bro. How, 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 how am I getting played? Oh my goodness. Space Station Gaming did the unthinkable down six to two. They show their true character, and they bounce back to win that 7-6. to six. You called it a Ghost Gaming meltdown. That sure sounded like a meltdown. PR, what is in the minds of Ghost Gaming right now after we saw Space Station just do that? Hellfire and Brimstone. They <laughs> don't, I don't even think they know what happened. And this is where I'm kind of like baffled about the strategy and the weapon plays in between Ghost Gaming when they were getting come back on they, they did, waited so long to put that boom shot down there was no real other strategies going for them and th that drop shot and i and i want to give a heads up for space station when they finally lost that last round they put that drop shot in incinerator and even though ghost gaming that had that genius. opportunity to put that boom shot middle the first time th they didn't take it well my question is where is this coming from this isn't the ghost gaming that we saw the last two days and it seems like their fire is slowly going out space station gaming coming back to clutch up map number one but Waldo, we saw some weapon drops and just map dominance from Space Station Gaming in order to come back against Ghost Gaming. I, I feel like the drop shot was a very smart thing to do. It took the fight mostly away from the control tower. That's where Space Station Gaming were able to slow down the pace and play the game their way. Honestly, when you're talking about weapon placements, and we've talked about it for the last two seasons, you kind of want to dictate the fight away from what your opponent's doing. Honestly, Rushies was doing a really good job early in the game, being, on a, being an annoyance playing his life, trying to draw pressure away, and honestly, Space Station was terrible at isolating their 1v1s. Like, he was always by himself. He's in a 2v1. That person should never get out. And Rushies was making some very high IQ plays uh, about Secret Manning and Mr. Krabs behind the enemy lines, going up and creating pressure on the opposite side of the map, not shooting his gun. Honestly, that actually goes really well. But on the other end, it seemed like the rest of Ghost was lost and just got smoked. So, I mean, honestly, you cannot give that momentum. And Space Station have already played three super long series. Yeah. Now they've got another one ahead of them. And honestly, that momentum coming back and winning that set, that sets them up that Ghost could falter here and not go on. Well, you take a look at the next map. We're going to Dem. Historically, Space Station Gaming, they dominate on that map. Now, we heard the comms, backs against the wall. What's Ghost Gaming going to do? Uh, to me, they're going to be... They're going to try and reset. They might be a little flustered going to this one, so it's very important for Ghost Gaming to come out strong here in this next match. However, I do think both teams are going to favor that boom shot in the pit strategy, and then when that happens, it's going to be an all-out brawl. And to be honest, I, I want to say Ghost Gaming is going to come out on top of the way Space Station is all playing right. right now. On fire. On dam. On dam. <laughs> on dam, I I wanted to question that. On dam. Yeah, Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody yes, has yeah, to yeah. do it. <laughs> My PR. prediction for Ghost is to win this series. So All in order right. for Ghost to win the series, they have to win damage. Fallout, what are your thoughts on that? Sticking my guns as well. I'm the man of my word. I call Ghost 2-1. I'm rolling with it. But man, Waldo. this Space Station squad I'm not good. recanting. It's, I said Ghost. They should win. Like the, 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 That's the way it should work. Honestly, they're beating themselves. Yeah. And they proved it there. Honestly, the, their, yeah. their comms are all over the place. They're being erratic. They're making terrible decisions. People are cutting through the middle of the map for free. Yeah. Look, somewhere, in, somewhere in the discussion point, you just have to slow down and stop trying to force things everywhere across the map. I saw the look at my man Waldo's <laughs> face here. He's getting he's legit disgusted by this. Game. I, I feel like they need savage. to play to the strength of what was working in Forge. And that, to me, what that was that? Rushies. Right. Like, he was yep. getting behind enemy lines. He, he was getting down. up top on that quick bow in that 1v1. And like I said, God Plays didn't even know what to do about it. It didn't look like the member of Space Station, I do believe it was Jack, didn't really know what to yeah. do about how to stop that pickup. So to me, you got to use what you, you got going for you, and that's Rushies and how he's maneuvering himself around the map. And I don't I think Ghost Gaming did a good job of that. Well, we're going to see a lot of team fights on this upcoming map on Damn. There's going to be a lot of close quarter encounters. Speaking of rushies, they're going to need a lot of rushies. Who else on Ghost Gaming needs to step up, and how can they do that? Identives. And, and All right. the reason why Identives can't, or how Identives can do it, is it's basically just pairing up with rushies. I, I know they play really well together, especially with that boom shot in the pit. So they need to make sure they use that to their advantage. They have different strategies. I know they talk to each other and they make things happen. Hey, whether am I going to pick pick? Am I going to yeah. do this, this, and that? So I think Identives along with rushies need to step it up here in this map in order for those games to You guys it. know him. You guys love him. Identives, the number one player of the Latin American region. He has more fans than anyone in Gears of War. This man can't walk through a crowd in Mexico without getting bombarded. He is representing all of Mexico right now.
if you are a member of the Latin American community, if you're from Mexico, get behind him because you said it. I agree. He has to pick up this game. And taking a look at Dam, what are we expecting to see from our basic stress and how can the map evolve once other weapons go down? We're going to see a fundamental, like, I guess isolation on the map is the way to say it. They're going to drop massive amounts of boom shots, create a ton of pressure on the lower side of the map. Space Station is not afraid to send Hydro into these situations all over the map. Right, you, can't like that idea. you called him out. You said we got to see him go big. Look at this, man. He knows how to use power weapons, that's for sure. The whole Latin American region definitely knows it. He's one of the most versatile players in the league. We've seen him play anchor. We've seen him play all types of spawns. I mean, there's nothing that this man cannot do. So heading into this game, I know all of us in North America and in Mexico, we want to see Idenum's go completely off. You saw what he did last year with Splice. That Idenum still exists. I think it, I, he, of course, exists. I mean, he's already won a championship this year. They still, again, it's that the chip on the shoulder that they haven't beat Optic Gaming. You know, you've, and honestly, we've all been talking about it as, you know, a talent team in the back. At some point, you've got to you've got to somehow fix this mental block that you have, because honestly, that's the team that you have to beat. But their first thing to overcome is Space Station Gaming, yep. and they're beating themselves right now. You're absolutely right. And speaking of Space Station Gaming, before we head into map two, I say we learn a little bit more about the team that's up right now. One to know, Space Station Gaming. My name is Matthew Evans. Uh, my game attack is Crimson's, and I play for Space Station. Dropping Marsh, you know, it was, it was a hard decision, you know. I, I, when it came to it, it was probably hard at that time, but as we've come to play with Jack, um, it, we've got a lot more comfortable. What Jack brings, um, you know, is a, a heavy Nasha play style that we needed to fit in our team. You know, he's always the first in and possibly the last out. Great strength as a roster is probably just how strong we are as a five, you know, how we come together and we're not uh, intimidated by uh, top teams. And there you have her from Space Station Gaming saying they're not intimidated by any team out there. Heading the map two on dam. We're gonna have Space Station against Ghost Gaming. Both teams playing for their lives right now. Fall out of PR. Take it away. Thank you so much, Belly. If you guys hear some people going crazy behind us, it's the two versus two semifinals between J Ribs and Toxicity and the Europeans Ashton Incisive. And it's getting heated right now, man. This is wild. 2v2 boxes. Welcome to Gears Esports. We missed you. Wow. We'll keep you updated on that one. But J Ribs and Toxicity down 9 to 8 right now. Trying to fight back. Jumping in. More, way more importantly, of course. Love you, J Ribs. But 2v2 is great. 5v5 losers bracket final. I just tweeted this out, but this is the best losers bracket final I've seen so far in my entire life for Gears Esports. A big shout out, of course, to Mortal Spawn. Observing, catching all the action. Former pro player, current analyst and observer. Great guy as well. It's going to be rushy and sleepy to start off strong. Looks like Denna's playing out wide. It's a little bit of a 1v1. That's going to be Krim coming out on top. But this is where the hill is at, is at B. And Ghost Gaming actually have control over that one. And here in our side station 2v2 matchup. Those boos going out. Everyone Ash loves and Incisive getting the 10-8 victory over Ribs and Toxicity. Oh my gosh. I said in the pregame that Krim would be the X factor. Did he perform last map? And boy, is he not off to a great start here. Two kills are ready for him. Phelpsy now in team. Gonna be pushing that B hill. Here comes the fight at B hill. This is for possession. This is for control. And this is for Space Station's ability to bounce back into this one. See it. Space Station coming out on top in this exchange. Another one down. Rushy's Resic. The only two members alive for Ghost Gaming. It doesn't look like Space Station is going to put their foot on the brake as they're all gas all the way. Resic taking out Jack. They don't actually know where he's at just yet. He does find himself in the truck. Decaf coming out in favor of Space Station. This is where they're going to choose to retreat. 12 second, 12 second respawn timers. You don't want to overstay your welcome because that could turn and bite you in the behind if Ghost Gaming were to come out on top. Smart decision to back out right there. They got the decaf, which disallowed them for getting points. Big one versus one. Wow, Rezik with a good play. Hydro takes out Rushies. Now all eyes on Krim. He's going to be in a one versus two here, staying sneaky behind this cover. Has to watch the flank soon. Some good shots put in from Krim. He's just going to back out and reset. Nice job by Krim to just defend here. And now Space Station gets more points. The rotations should be coming through off of respawns here for Space Station momentarily. See Ghost Gaming 
their retake attempt. Four of them at B. They are going to get the decap. They already have the lead, so this is looking good for Ghost Gaming, especially with the down on Krim, forcing Phelpsy to backtrack and get the save. So it does look like Ghost Gaming has the lead, has the two-hill advantage, and the opportunity to set up look at this. as well. But on the other side of the map, just like you said, there's a play going down for Space Station. Yeah, smart plays from Space Station. They recognize we're not going to be able to hold on to this B hill because we're coming off a of spawn. That's immediately go for a home and away push. And they have a down on Rushies. Space Station, a very smart play here as Hydrone picks up a double. Can he get the triple? No, he gets shut down. And now full red is sleepy. He goes down. Phelps, he needs to be quick here because the respawns are going to be coming in. Look at the reaction shot. Smoke right there. Ooh, nice stuff from Phelps. He's going for another decap. They do need it. Space Station also needs to decap B, however, and he's going to go down before that can even happen. Craze finding himself in a 1v1 against Identives at B. Identives is playing the long game, knowing I have a bunch of time, but he's going to get flanked, shot up in the back, taken out by Craze. Look at the score, 180 to 162. This is going to be off of points. They need to get a three-cap break. Craze cannot die here. All eyes on Rushies on that B-Hill. Rushies going to get a full red on Craze, and he gets taken out here. And now, Space Station is going to not even going to capture B. They're going to go for the break on A. Someone needs to pick up that B-Hill eventually, and all members of Ghost Gaming will be turtling at this A-Hill. Yeah, at this stage in the game, it's kills over hills, especially when you don't need to decap. It came out for just a second. Hydro taken out. Craze doing what he can. He needs to get in the hill. He is in the hill. Is the decap going to come out? It is for just a moment, but they need everyone on the hill. Is there anybody else from Space Station to try and stop this? No, there is not. As Ghost Gaming looks like they're going to cap A and solidify round number one, map number two. Ghost Gaming wins that one. You see them all in their chairs. A couple nucks here and there, but not the same energy we saw in those first seven rounds in map number one. I want to see Ghost try and catch that fire again, get up, get loud. Of course, when you went off of 210, it's not as exciting as a three-cap domination, but Ghost Gaming looking to catch fire. I think the only time it's exciting if it's like 209 and a half to 210. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, map number two, Craze, and the last match that I casted with Momo. And against Echo Fox. Yeah, against Echo Fox. He goes in, gets the 1v2, stops Echo Fox at 207, and gets the cap. It solidified oh the map in the end. Things like that. Yep. Super exciting instance going well down said. in Plat 4 Space Station. And I do clean. like that. You, you lost that first round. You don't want to go head first into that boom on pit. So you kind of slowly play it out and reach that level. Yeah, completely agree. Really, I got to get my hat off to Space Station. I'm not sure if it's Rubik's or, of course, Crazed or Phelpsy as the leaders of, these, of this team. But they were on point in map number one with the weapon placements. The boom shot, the drop shot, both great decisions. We'll see if the instance pay off from here. Jumping on board Jack here. Fighting for those incense, you spotted oh, Identives, but that's going to be Rush's at first blood on Phelpsy. Incense in the hands of Identives. Rush is taken out as well. He already threw one. I heard it go out, but he's going to get flanked. Throws the second one, unable to connect with either one. It does look like he's eventually going to go down, but how long is it going to take? A few extra seconds if it was just any other player. Yeah, Identives. Great job staying alive as long as he can right there. Put himself in a pretty bad spot, but now the overaggression is going to come through. From Rezik, or the overextension, sorry, Sleepy, downs one, that's Krims, because he's going to go down, though, and now Space Station will be able to survive, but look at this, Speedy playing aggressive as well. Actually, take that one, Krim pushing up, you see Ghost Gaming do have a two-hill lead and a score lead over Space Station, and this looks like a different Space Station this time around that we just saw on Forge Blitz, they seem a little bit, a little bit lost compared to where they were before. Smokestone's gonna come through. Krim trying to stay alive. Rushies, who is sneaky again. He takes out one. Keep an eye on Rushies. He finally is gonna get taken out here. 1v1 versus Rezik. Finally, the rotation comes through. Krim makes it a 3v1. And just like that, Space Station with a retake on this B Hill. Well done from them to take their numbers advantage and to take control of that B Hill. But look at the damage that's been done 40 points. Yep. But in these rounds, 14 second respawn times. They will come back, but once they tie it up, it's going to be around even for the most part. Mid to late game, Krim getting another kill on Sleepy. Praise, he's just playing his distance. He does, he doesn't need to push forward. Identums almost being put in a bad spot as Speedy getting that kill on Phelps. And the rest of Ghost Gaming make that a double kill by Speedy. Rush, he's finally taken out, but the damage has been done. Make that a triple kill by Speedy. Wow, what a play from the playmaker, Speedy. From upstate New York, takes out three, finally gets taken down here, but after so much damage has been done. And now, B Hill, though, still not recaptured. They're going to go for some kills over the hills here, like you said last round. 
and since finally up we capture soon now they're already up you see Phelps keep on for for just a moment before being put full red lots of smokes coming out and you can expect space station to try and make a play for these instants and once those get those instants i want to see them use them and put them to use around the map and i want to see them cut to bees if you look at the numbers for that overhead map for a moment three members of ghosts are in their spawn two over towards b so if you're going to make a quick rotational push it has to be towards b if you're space station you got to do it with those instants as well now let's take a look at the overhead map if possible only two people from Ghost, you see that in the B hill, two people to C hill, so they can push, push that 4v2. It's gonna take a while for space for Ghost Game to rotate. They're gonna do exactly that. That's up play here, but they need a three cap. One kill picked up for Hydrone. One leads to two, which leads to a triple cap here. If he can pull this off, he's gonna miss that on Sleepy. Sleepy getting attacked up, he goes down. That's two kills right now, two members in the truck for Ghost Gaming. They're gonna be bundled up here. Identives gets hit by a brick, and they're both gonna be tagged up, but a good kill, that's a big one. Oh my gosh, the wraparound shot can be picked up by Craze as well. And Space Station, they do it so well. That's going to be it. A three-cap domination yet again from Space Station. I don't know how long Space Station has been doing this, but two matches in a row, I've seen Space Station steal about seven, eight rounds total. That's a full map of rounds stolen away from another team. So Space Station clutch players from left to right all the way up there. Yeah. They're doing it well. They've always been great at it. They're really, uh, their makeup reminds me a lot of the, the optic gaming of Europe. The way they play, the way they're always composed, the, the, the way they get one kill after another, which leads to a three cap domination, is very similar to how we see optic gaming do it. Five Final. pure slayers as well. Finally, we got that boom shot in pit. Something, you know, I kind of like said that? in the beginning, Ghost likes it, Space Station likes it, and this is what I thought, that, you know, Rushies and Identives are going to be two of the players to watch on the side of Ghost Gaming. I would expect Felty and Krim the same. Identives getting the quick pick on Boom. I know he did use one, unable to connect with anything, and that's going to be first blood drawn by Krim. Rushies and Identives tag teaming to even it up for to each. Now it's up to Identives to use his next boom shot. He's going to get a kill on Craze and keep it going for Ghost Gaming, but on the side, it's Space Station evening it up so we are neck and neck here in this oh. match and another trade this is a story of a neck and neck battle between these two teams nice job by jack to listen to the call on pick up the kill rushies is tagged up he's in a world of hurt right now if i'm space station i'm taking this 2v1 gotta be smart because it's against rushies no deaths here and that's gonna be it a nice kill look at that a cheeky angle from rushies and he takes out one I think you just cursed him for that one. I did. 100% cash He said you don't want to die to rush. He's next thing he does, second later, dies to, rush. to rush. And that was actually a pretty good angle to see it happen. It was, yeah. From their perspective, too. Resin now, tagged up a little bit. B Hill finally in hands of, of uh, Ghost Gaming. Look at the rotation from Ghost. Look how quick they are to get to that B Hill. They trusted Rushies to take out one, and they rotated B immediately. Sleepy, a little over aggressive. He's going to get taken out. With Boom. Less than a minute from spawning up. If you don't have control of B, if you're a space station, you need to go out wide. Hydro taken out by Speedy. Speedy is performing. This man wants it, and he wants it bad. And he's willing to put his team in the back here, even if it means breaking it. 11 kills for Speedy right now. Looks like that B heal was broken, but about to be recapped here by Space Station. Boomshot will be respawning in 30 seconds, so you will see these teams slowly start to shift their way over to the boom shot on the other side of the map towards the pit, and that might determine the winner of this round. I don't like Krim dying right there. They got no footing over at B. Like I said, if you're not going to get B, you need to set up a position on pit. Phelps be trying to even up for a piece. Identifs not letting it be an even battle, especially with his teammates crossing him down. Triple cap opportunity coming out from behind. Everyone's back. Ghost gaming looking like they're going to get away with this one. Reza getting the down. Instance picked up by Identifs, but I don't think Krim is in position to get the touch. Ghost gaming 2-1 over space station but this match has been head to head action all the way through I, I, I don't even think I could have even imagined a match this close. Seriously, we thought Ghost Game would run through. We had a 2 0 from Waldo in favor of Ghost. I said 2 1. You said 2 1 as well. We, you know, so it might come to fruition here, but I don't think many of us expected Space Station to come back the way that they did. And uh, it's just weapon decision placement here. But more important than that, I want to talk about the initial strategy. Last round, we saw Ghost Gaming run what's called a quick pick. That's when you place your smokes perfectly. And trust me, they practice this for hours, many scrims. Every smoke is placed in a perfect position to stun a member of Space Station. When all five members are stunned, they grab that boom shot, they back roll. Even if they're in the faces of the other team, they're going to secure that boom shot and will escort them out to then pick up some kills. They did it last round. That was Ghost Gaming. Identives grab the boom shot. Let's see what strat we see here. Let's look at the overhead map. Let's see how many we're going to see. Looks like four members, all five, fighting for this boom shot here. It's going to come down to this. No quick pick this time from Ghost Gaming just yet. And as I say that, Identus pushes up to the 50. 
That's the pipes. Hydro in there already. And Hydro's gonna shut that down here. And here comes that dead is. He's gonna get shut down by Hydro with the wide flank. Platt in the favor of Go Sleep. He's gonna go down here. Can Crazy get the kill? And there you go, Rushies grabbing the boost shot. And guess what? Rushies is gonna miss the first one though. Wow, I thought he had a triple kill opportunity there. PR. That, that was huge right there for Rushies. If he gets that triple kill, the tides have a turn, but with four dead on side of Ghost Gaming, I do expect Space Station to be the aggressors here. One Ghost Gaming player off spawn make that three c that is jack i'm not even gonna try and attempt that anymore back up against the wall ghost gaming in this round two hills to one score just on the board for space station did they have one boom there pr were they able to grab it from rushies i, I don't think they got it from rushies he, he pocketed it okay so pocketing means he switched his weapon before he died so they did not grab that one boom shot i was gonna say if they had the one boom they need to win that round but now ghost gaming bounces back their rotations have been so strong here talk about the impact of a coach like Fatal Strike and an IGL like Speedy. Immediately off the spawn, they swing wide left, they rotate for home and away hills, and Ghost Gaming is bouncing right back into this one. Nice flank by Krim to help out his teammate taking out Rushes with a down coming Smart. in. A nice instant by Feltsy taking out Idenims on the push. So Space Station with a man advantage here, they have the opportunity to push forward, but with less than a minute for Boom, I would like to see them maybe play out for B, but with already in their possession, I like what they're doing here. So this is going to force Ghost Gaming to either go and try and break B for time, or try and set up for the next Boom shot, which is going to be up in roughly 40 seconds. So PR called it. 40 seconds of that Boom. Phelps, he's going to miss that instant. And now five on five situation. Who's going to draw first blood? It's going to be Rezik. He takes out Krim. All eyes on Phelps. He's going to miss the first shot. Now Phelps in an awkward spot here. Kind of no man's land. He's just going to try and stay alive as long as he can. He's doing a good job staying alive. Barely any damage taken, but this is where he's going to take the front of that damage and finally take it out by Sleepy. Make that four, make that five dead for Space Station Krim. First member spawning up along with Hydrone, but is it going to be too late? Especially since B is not even capped yet. Rushy's getting another one, leaving Hydrone all by himself. And this is where they're probably going to push in the spawn and try and kill Hydrone. That's going to be Rushy's picking up that kill. So once again, Ghost Gaming coming down on top in this round. Three to one. The lead is beginning to open up, but this is only map number two. Ghost Gaming kind of choking away map number one. Four to five straight rounds. Space Station needed to come back, win that one. Seven, six. Now ghostly three to one, but we've already seen this before, so it's not over yet if you're a fan of Space Station. This is reminiscent of what we saw on map number one here, PR. We saw Ghost Gaming run with it early. Space Station bounce back. We'll see if Ghost can continue their momentum here, and we don't know what's up top just yet. Looks like a drop shot, potentially. Could be drop shot. I'll let you know as soon as we can what that is. Almost looked like it could have been a, a type of grenade, maybe frag. It is a drop shot. Drop shot. Wow. Look, look at you. Oh man, I know the I know the awkward angles, you know? I know the edges. A lot of the, a lot of pictures of uh, the weapons, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Here we go. Drop shot up top, boom shot down low. Almost sounds like a, that one rap song. And usually when you see both weapons like this, I, I like to tell people that you need to play for the weapon that you want to play for. You can't be dictated by maybe boom is better than drop or drop into the boom. You need to play your strategy and your game. Yeah. And it looks like they are favoring that space station, favoring the drop shot, ghost favoring the boom shot. We'll see. Battle of the shots here. Which one's going to prevail? They did get one hill, though. Jack takes out one. Can Jack get a double? No, he gets shut down. So double kill Jack. Finally getting shut down here. Krim going to sneak away the instance. And now, so they have a Krim, drop shot Krim. and since Krim's going to go down, but I don't think there's going to be able to clean that one up. But as I say, that Rezik pushing forward, getting that kill on Krim. So Ghost Gaming showing no fear as they continue the onslaught, taking out Phelpsy next. And as these respawns, I do believe they're about 20, 18 to 20 second respawn timers. That allows Ghost Gaming to continue their push forward and try and solidify the rest of this round. You see another kill with that boom shot. Rezik and Speedy and Identifs, three members of Ghost Gaming pushing up. And a flank, a huge flank by Hydro, getting a double kill, saving Space Station for the time being. There it is. Oh, but Hydro's gonna win the 1v against Sleepy. And uh, PR, I feel like I'm in Mexico City all over again with the chance. The Spanish speakers are loud. It's an international battle between two members from Mexico, two people from the UK in the grand finals of our 2v2 boxes tournament. But on the main stage, we have ourselves another great match at Space Station and Ghost Gaming competing for their spot in the championship final. You see the weapons in sins in 30 seconds, drop shot in 40, boom shot in 45. Plenty of time to work with. If you're either one of these teams, you need to know what move you're going to make. You need to do it soon. Don't want to let your opposition get position on the weapon that you want. You can't grab them all, so you need to make sure you have a plan ready. 
Three to one. Ghost Gaming leads right now. Can Space Station secure a spot in the championship final for the first time, repping the new organization. Jack's gonna be tagged up. One member goes down, that's Rushies. Five on four, numbers advantage here, and it's round five PR. That's gonna be a long time dead. Sleepy now, full red, he gets downed as well. And Space Station Gaming should be in a great spot here to win this one. Well, it's a terrible time to die. Speedy did get those incidents, but with drop up and boom coming up in like five seconds, I do see Space Station might be able to get away with this one as the boom shot now in the hands of Phelps. Somebody's going back to the drop shot as we speak, so I do think it might be impossible for Space Station to lose this round. Redemptives makes the play, and it's going to keep Ghost alive. They're not there. Boom shot's coming. Hydro's going to go down, though. You cannot choke these rounds of your Space Station. You need to finish. You had a five on two. You had boom shot, and you should have had the round. I believe that is Krim with the drop shot. Later on in these rounds, you gotta think if your space station you lose this round after having boom shot and drop shot, you gotta question yourselves, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. 190 and counting. Nobody really in position to grab yep. B, especially with a drop shot with number and Krim. Space station's gonna be able to close this one out, but they still trail three to two. Yep, great job by Space Station. They also recognize that they had a points lead, and that points lead should be a lot or enough here. 207 is a magic number, they're gonna connect with that exactly. And Space Station going to get a point on the board here. I know it was a little bit critical of their inability to finish. They, of course, knew the situation. Rubik's is probably calling for points. At the same time, though, if Ghost Gaming comes off of spawn there, PR, after killing Hydrone, takes that five on four, turns that into a five on three, continues to spin together some kills like a spider web, they could win that round off of domination. So you got to be careful. You got to finish here in these late rounds. Round number six, this is the last round of the first half, which means we have full lethality. Boom shot, drop shot, instance, hammer burst, and a no place. So that means 22 second player respawn timers. If you are dead, you're dead for 22 seconds. You're basically out of the round. It all comes down to the initial strategy. Yep. Long respawn timers. Like you said, last round of the half. And this is where both teams are going to play for. They want to play for. It looks like Ghost Gaming wants boom. Space Station wants drop shot. And hopefully these teams need to do it quick because Incense are still on the map and that's equal footing for both of these teams to capitalize on. But Jack getting that kill on Rush, he's in the boom fights. This is huge for Space Station. This could be a mental shift. Sleepy with a huge flank around Platt, trying to make it happen. Getting one, getting caught by Craze before you can get that second kill. So huge turnaround by Craze to make that happen, but boom shot in the hands of Idenims. And again, Space Station prioritizes the drop shot here. I don't know why exactly it's going to cost them. Idenims picks up the boom, grabs one. Drop shot has still yet to be in play. It's Phelpsy with the drop shot in his hands, and it's going to be Phelpsy versus all of Ghost Gaming at this point. He's not able to connect for that one. They're all finding their hills. It's A and B. Looks like it's going to go in favor of Ghost Gaming. Space Station trying to spawn up. It's actually going to be Phelpsy trying to prolong this round. They do need a full decap on their hill. A huge quadruple kill, including his teammate Resnick there for Identives. But, you know, that's one of those things where you yeah, okay, I'm killing my teammates, but I'm killing three of the enemy team and going to win the round. And his teammate was down, probably going to die anyway. So three for one, I will take it. Identives, in my opinion, right there, made the hero play. Grab and boom, pick up four kills, uh, enemy kills with that one boom shot. It's two booms, actually, total, two rockets total. And I think Ghost Gaming outstrated. Space Station right there. Boom shot greater than drop shot is the official. It's proven right here, right now. Second half. Hills will swap respawn timers before we set back to 12 seconds. All weapons will be wiped off the map, but the action will still be the same. Ghost Gaming up 4-2, and Phelpsy first blood on Sleepy. Like I said, action will all be the same as Ghost Gaming looks to even up as Idanus picks up that kill on Hydron. Space Station with control of the plat. It's going to be Ghost Gaming trying to fight forward to get control of it themselves. Oh, nice flank's going to come through. Rezik, though, going to get taken out. Speedy takes out Phelpsy. Identives grabs another. So when the dust finally settles, it is going to be Ghost Gaming that wins the initial. And they're rewarded with a nice two cap. Jack now playing with aggression here. He's going to come out on top in the 1v. Speedy rushes the duo, picking up some kills. I feel like in this match, anytime one team gets a kill, another team evens it up. It's just literally. Back and forth, Space Station winning map number one. Ghost Gaming looking to tie it up here, map number two, as they have a 4-2 lead. We are in halftime, only 12 second respawns. That's why you might not see teams be too aggressive when it comes to trying to cap the other team. So unless your name is Rush, he's put full red. And escaping with a kill and his life. He is going to be down, but he has teammates near him to try and get that revive, make that three, four Ghost Gaming members trying to push up. But like I said, though, slow 
respawn rounds means you probably want to set up for a time based win instead of going for a triple cap unless you get multiple strung together kills and that's when you can move together as a team yeah we call them waves of slays so if you take out the entire team with an ace or by slaying out once you should probably do it a second time in these early rounds then you can get the three cap domination on that second wave is really where you can finish the first wave because respawn timers are so short 12 seconds you gotta wait out this time they look like they want to win off of a three cap though three dead that's the second wave of kills here and that should be enough, unless Phelps, he can make the play for his mid-map. Speedy doing the smart play right here, just standing in the hill. And that's one thing you guys need to make sure you guys do, just stand in the hill, especially if you have a huge man advantage, you force the players to you. And like I said, especially on a huge man advantage, especially if you don't know where the players are or if they're coming out for respawn. Meanwhile, exciting update from the side station. Of course, Space Station leads this one. The Coming from the UK, however, another pair from the UK, Ash and Incisive. Former teammate of Krim, I believe, back in the day, are up seven to five right now over Infernas and Reddins from Mexico. So, I've never seen this strategy. Yeah, it's, they've been camping a lot. It's, uh, that's why we got a lot of booze behind us. So we got Mexico versus the UK in the 2v2. We got America versus the UK on the main stage. Europe showing. Can we get up. some USAs in the chat, please. I'm just saying. <laughs> Europe is showing up here in Game Four Season up. Two. They are showing up. Yeah, we got some EU versus USA battles. I like it. North, how about NA? Because it's North America versus uh, EU both, both times. <laughs> Meanwhile, Boom Shot plays some top. Our apologies. We're having some fun here. Uh, we couldn't see what that boom was thanks, uh, because of the overlay, but now we uh, see it loud and clear. It's a boom shot. We know they love this decision, that space station. They did it on Forge Blitz. They're going to do it again. Phelpsy, boom shot in his hands. Didn't do much of the drop shot last round. Let's see what he can do with the boom shot here. Interesting to see them put that boom shot up top towards B or would be with B if it's the first half. Because it, normally it's at pit, and we I kind of predicted both teams that love that boom shot pit, but with Space Station trailing five to two, you kind of want to mix things up, throw a little bit of curveball at Ghost Gaming, and it seems to work as they win this initial get boom, and you see them slowly surrounding and then closing in on Ghost to eventually try and make a play. And you know, I, I mentioned waves of plays. You gotta, you gotta push them the second wave. I don't like this decision from Space Station. They're in an awkward spot. It's kind of no man's land. In my opinion, you hold the two cap of the setup. You force Ghost to eventually have to push you after you gain a huge lead and you use that boom shot to pick up the two easiest kills of your life you shouldn't be this aggressive here you shouldn't even give a risk of giving ghost gaming opportunity to make a play 100 percent especially since Phelps, he knows ghost gaming needs to push put full red it will escape with a kill on sleepy Mark. time I love what Ghost Game is doing. Going in from Resic. Oh. Now we shoot that boom shot. He's going to shoot it. He's going to get a double kill. Taking out Identity of Resic. Two booms, three kills, and this is where they're going to pressure. You see FB and Decap, triple cap opportunity coming out for Space Station Speedy. He's going to be able to do what he can to try and make it happen, but a trade coming out. He takes out Phrase. Krim taking out Rush. He's that's going to be sleepy. Trying to do what he can as he takes out High no. Throne. And he you left the hill win. for just you a second. Okay. Is it going to be enough? I agree with you 100% oh. right there. You have the win. You don't need that kill. The only reason in my head you want that kill is to drop a 30 bomb. <laughs> My man Phelps, he's going for a 30 bomb. Indeed. We saw Jack make that mistake on Foundation yesterday, and it cost him the round. He went for a kill of a guy that was down outside of the hill, and, and ended up costing him right there. Phelps, I, I do believe, I, I want to say in Vegas, uh, somebody, I do believe it was Craze, they were going for a triple cap opportunity. Craze left the hill early, didn't cap it, ended up going down the ramp, and have to go back for it, and that inevitably lost him the round. Wow. Every single second makes a difference in Gears Esports. We all love this game mode. The premier, the marquee Esports game mode, and for Gears of War at least, is Escalation. Three caps on the board. Of course, if you're watching for the first time, first to 210 points will win the round, or if you get all three hills, you get a triple cap domination, which is what we're talking about, and that will also secure you the round. First to seven rounds wins the game. Boom shot up top, still frag grenades on the plat side. So the weapons are relatively close, so you can see some crossfire coming down from either side of the map if it's won by somebody. But we're in on this fight here. Phelpsy going for the quick pick on the boom shot. He's going to get out with it. Adenibs is going to fall. Frag grenades going in favor of Rush. His first grenade coming out is going to be able to connect with anything. No, it is not. Three ghost gaming members fall. Make that four as Rush. He's the only one alive. He doesn't have anything but his stock weapons. He's going to try and cap this hill to make it where a space station has to get the full decap before they can even triple. Rushy's full red. Look at the movement from Rush. He's literally dancing. And he's going to get it down. Rushy's is keeping him alive right now. I can't believe this. Krim can't get the kill on Rushy's. Rushy's is still alive. Full red. And finally, he's going to go down. Hydrone picks up two as well. And that might be all she wrote here. Space Station. You only wonder, PR, are they doing it again? 
I'm gonna call this the Space Station Special, man. Their way, their ability to come back when down. They were down, what, three to one? Now five to four. Can Space Station close this one out? Can they advance to their first championship final since Vegas? So my question for you, is it Space Station holding composure, or is it Ghost Gaming losing composure? 1,822% Ghost Gaming losing composure. And then look, I, uh, I have a lot of respect for the Space Station squad, their ability to stay calm and composed. I said that in the pregame, how, how well composed they are, how well they remind me of Optic in that regard, but we all know Ghost Gaming goes on full-blown <laughs> tilt. I don't, I'm scared to listen, jump into a listen with Ghost Gaming because they are a very, very uh, aggressive and angry team when they're losing. And I think it is the tilt of the of Ghost Gaming that's cost. Checking out a line of your book, Ghost Gaming, when they're high, the highs are high, but the lows, very low. And this is looking like what we've seen in map number one, a little bit of a comeback. Ghost Gaming needs to take it round by round. You see multiple members of Space Station. That's going to be Hydron with that boom shot. He's taken out early rushes with the frags again. Second opportunity to make a play from the other side of the map. Space Station losing members left and right. That's going to be four total dead. Make that five as Jack falls. Krim with the respawn. He's going to be the only one to try and prolong this round for his team. As he's already capped, one person from Ghost is going to go back for their own home hill. That's going to be Krim. He's actually getting behind enemy lines. So now they have to turn around and look for him as Hydro can come from behind as well. Yeah, here we go. Opportunity to stay alive here. Rush, he's going to turn on Krim. Huge play from him. Can you get the double kill though? He gets shut down. Space Station trying to stay alive. Phelps, he gets taken out. Jack now Lancering gonna get caught with his pants down here is Jack. He's be a little more cautious than that. Sleepy full red here. And he's gonna get away with his life. Sleepy, great job. Big fight coming down right here. Sleepy Tom trying to do what he can. Trying to play up in this truck. Goes for the reaction shot. Not able to connect with anything. Ghost Gaming. Going for this triple cap opportunity for dead for Space Station. Make that five. Hydro just spawning up, but it does look like it's going to be over. Hydro does not have an opportunity to touch this hill. Ghost Gaming on match point six to four. But like you said, we've already seen this once before. It's going to be up to Space Station to bring us back. It's like a song played in your head over again here. Map number two, Ghost Gaming up six to four. Last map, if you're just tuning in, Ghost Gaming was up six to two in rounds. We've only seen that few. Maybe I can count on my hands how many times we've seen that in Gears Esports history for Gears of War 4. And Space Station did the near reverse sweep to win that seven to six. Now down six four, boom shot placed already. And missed what was placed there. We'll check it out in a second. Space Station has a chance to bounce back. Yep, it's instance. It's actually instance on pit. I, I don't think those are going to come into play too early on because, you know, Rushy has been fighting for those frag grenades. Everybody else has been fighting for the boom shot. So I, I could see them being picked up late. So they're not going to be on the same type of timer every other weapon is. So I expect to see them picked up off rotation. But on our initial, that's going to be Identus pushing up. Phelpsy on the other side towards that boom shot. I'm going to get a quick pick this time around. So great adaption from those gaming. Rushy sneaks those instants. Keep an eye on the bottom of your screen to see if he can put them to work here. Still made it over for the boom shot. Frag grenades are going to be rotated over. That's Krim. He's going to force Identives out. Can they use the team fire? No. Not enough team fire, but Rezik picks up a kill on Craze. Ghost Gaming now five on four. It's team kill. He's going to come in, but Jack's going to take out one. It's a three on three. Identives is going to get tagged up full red. He's able to stay alive now, but Sleepy picks up Phelpsy. And just like that, Ghost Gaming, the perfect situation here to close this one out. Oh, Dennis had to reload there at the worst moment. But he does get saved by Sleepy. He picks up a double kill. Craze, the last member alive for Space Station. As these rounds get longer, it's going to be harder and harder to fight back from a triple cap boom shot in the hands of Identus. Rushy goes down for the cap. I don't agree with it right there, especially since your team has the advantage. But with it being capped, D being capped as well. F4 second was decapped by Space Station. And they get the decap fully. That's going to be Phelpsy going in there, getting that one. Hydro Jack off of respawn. They hate can they keep this one going. He goes, gets one full red. Hydro with a kill on Rezik. Jack takes out so hydro last member alive he does need a second touch he gets it before going down no one alive craze not enough time to run out of spot ghost gaming tied up here one to one and you gotta think fallout this could be over if you're ghost gaming if you were just close out map number one but instead wow. you're going to a nail biting tiebreaker and map. here's the thing uh, if i'm ghost gaming that cannot be a, a word a mention a thought on the comms you, it's in the past. It's over. It's done. You can't bring that up. You can't think about it. You got to move on to map number three. But Ghost Gaming, they make this an even more interesting one. They force game number three. It just shows that Ghost Gaming can shake up their emotions from whatever yeah, round or map happened and just go ahead and continue. And that's what separates the top teams from the worst. You know, you're able to come together with your team and strategize, really get yourselves together for this big matchup coming up. And Waldo, tiebreaker game is going to be on Reclaimed.
going to be a tough fight. Honestly, I think the one big thing that we need to look at and talk about is yeah. Ghost Gaming still look deflated even though they won. Right? It's and stressful, then, and then, man. And, and it, it's stressful, <laughs> right? That you're in the loser's bracket. You've been so playing like, all day. <laughs> but at the same time, you have to understand these guys have to start digging deep, find the energy, find the will to keep going forward, because otherwise Space Station can come out on top. Now, again, it may not be one of Space Station's best maps, but fundamentally, like, it was just both teams were playing sloppy and Ghosts were the one to capitalize. Yeah. So coming up on Reclaim, what's going to be Ghost Gaming's strong point? I think it's going to be those boom shot placements or those head down fights that you typically oh, see. Oh, but yeah. at the same time, I say that's Ghost Gaming's strong point, but to me, oh, that's one of Space Station's strong, strong, strong points as well. Point. So it's kind of like, hey, do I flip the coin? Is it going to land heads or tails? Yeah, I'm surprised. We don't see a lot of trick strats coming out of the Ghost Gaming roster. They really just like no. their stock weapons. They like their default play. They like that fight up in the B Hill. We saw Echo Fox try and change things up, running a couple trick strats against them in their matchup yesterday. Ghost Gaming, they want their Nasher, their Lancer, their pistol, their smoke, and they want to fight. Well, do you really need a trick strat when you have Resic, Reshis, and Speedy running at you with a yeah. shotgun? Be able to kill everything in sight. Your, your main thing is just keeping, excuse me, keeping composure and just being able to stay consistent. That's when Ghost Gaming's downfall so far today. They can get back to how they were yesterday or how they were last map. I feel like Ghost Gaming is definitely going to have a good chance. But on the flip side, Space Station game, you can't count them out. We've counted them out left and right all throughout this event. And what have they done? They've beating Echo Fox. It's not even an upset. They've beaten Echo Fox, and now they have a chance to send Ghost Gaming home as well. I agree, and this is a good opportunity for Space Station to continue making history for their region and give them hope. I do believe in a 2v2 on the side, you have Ash and Sisev take the victory, and don't quote me on that one, but that's just what it looked like watching it, it over and over yeah. again. Yeah. And they had an interesting strategy, you know, they, they were camping the whole time, but, but this <laughs> amount of money is, is on the line, $10,000 prize pool, you do what you gotta do to win. Yeah, exactly. There you go. So there you have it. If you're just joining us from the Bravo stream and you're checking out that 2v2 action, welcome. That was an exciting one. Ashton Incisive coming from Europe, from the UK to be exact. They win the inaugural 2v2 boxes tournament at Gears of War Pro Circuit San Diego Open. But before that, how special is that? 100 teams were able to come in, 200 people were able to play in this 2v2 tournament and make a name for themselves. Ash and his teammate walked away with $3,000 each. That's a lot of money, man. That's a good amount for, of money, for man. For a 2v2. I want $3,000. <laughs> they made a lot more than the other pro teams. I, I, thought about putting <laughs> up the, I thought about putting up the disguise and signing up, you know, one of those glasses with the mustache. <laughs> I, I was ready. Ready. I was gonna, a full-blown <laughs> wig. I was yep. ready, bro. I, I was ready. <laughs> they would know. I would have cast the match straight from over there, too. Yeah, yeah so, well, the so for people that are at home, you, you take a look at the 2v2s, you take a look at what Nimbus did. What do you have to say for those at home that's never gone to an event or they're scared oh to? Oh, my God. Out. Can't be I scared of failure. You, you have to go out there. I love that question. Yourself. I mean, we've had not only great gameplay, you see the scoreboard on your screen right now, but attending a Gears Pro Circuit event is literally, it's a holiday. It's a vacation. You're in a room <laughs> with 300 plus, actually it's actually 700 plus this weekend. I heard that total number. 700 plus like-minded people who love Gears of War. Now there's the addition of 2v2 boxes tournaments. You play in the 5v5, so if you don't have a full team of five, you can play in the 2v2, have some fun with it and enjoy and compete. Or even if you don't want to play, come watch and hang out. It is an amazing experience. I was blessed to meet a guy by the name of Phil who came from St. Louis and he said, Paul, you said that every single stream and I didn't believe you and now I know what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Shout out to Phil for coming all the way from St. Louis just to spectate and hang out. All right, so predictions are we staying intact. Is it staying It was 2-1 across the desk. I, whoa, whoa, by whoa, the way, whoa, 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 I whoa. did. I said Ghost was going to win. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. You said Ghost. <laughs> you, you said 2-1. I, I was getting two thrown one. under oh. a bus. Sorry, Waldo. So, so nobody's going for Space Station Gaming right now. Nope. 2-1. No hope. I mean, look at the sleeve. It's the sleeve, man. The sleeve is undefeated this tournament. There's some e there's a few those in the chat that are definitely upset right now. What do you mean it's undefeated? They're in the loser's bracket. Oh, wait. Time out. The sleeve is undefeated against any team other than Optic Gaming. <laughs> there are some Europeans in the chat. You're right. I love those guys. I got a lot of love for the European community. I got a lot of love for Space Station, the org, and the team. But this Ghost Gaming squad is looking strong, and I got to stick to my guns. Right? Sometimes you got to call it how you see it. Both teams are no problem so far this tournament. Ghost Gaming has pretty much been the best. But Space Station Gaming as well, you know, they've, they've taken out Echo Fox just like Ghost Gaming did. But um, they had a better run against Optic Gaming. So it's all about matchups here. But um, Reclaim is going to be extremely important that these initial fights are going to be won well because once you win this initial Space Station Gaming can take over Ghost Gaming, they can use their offense and aggression to hurry up and get a triple cap yep. and a domination. So, 2-1 Ghost Gaming still. Ghost no, Gaming. no hope. All right, we're, we're going to kick this off on a tie breaker map on Reclaim. Space Station Gaming and Ghost Gaming Fallout and PR take it away. Thank you so much, Veli. Reclaimed. 
A nice game number three map. I like this one to finish things off. Look at this, close quarters fights down at the E hill and up at the B hill. I think that favors Ghost Gaming well. Expect rushies, expect Speedy to stay sneaky and make some big plays in those initial fights. And I think this is a good map for, for Rushies to actually be sneaky on. There's so many avenues to hide behind rocks, covers, and things like that. And, and especially with the strats, if you can come out with a sneaky strat, especially with boom shot, that more than likely will be placed low or top. Some people will get greedy, some people will get hungry, and they will tunnel. Yeah. That's for sure. Taking a look at this overhead map. You see the B hill at the top of your screen. That is at the perch or the manor. Expect three team, three people from each team to go up there. One down low to apples is what we call it. It's the spot right in the middle where you can flank each side. You see the apples at the bottom of your screen right now. And here comes the fight. Identus, front spawn. Rushies right behind him. Look at Rushies. I think he was in stun. Finally going to get stunned here. And first blood looking to go in the hands of Jack and Space Station. EU on the board. Rush is trying to tie it up here, but he's going to be outnumbered in bowl, but he gets a second kill before being taken out by Hydro. And that kill was just enough to give Ghost Gaming the numbers advantage. Speedy, Sleepy, using their pistols, trying to angle it out, not letting it get close enough to get a chunk. So huge play by Ghost Gaming there early on to kick us off. Now we're flipping immediately to the one versus one. Is it going down? Is it passive? Looks like... It is not much going on. I'm not sure if I... Yeah, Krim's still alive. Identive's still alive. So keep a close eye on that. Krim, very strong 1v1 player. Identive, same. That'll be a key that. matchup. Oh, not Identive. It's not Identive. Rezik. It's, it's Rezik. Rezik. Right. Identive plays front spawn now on this map. Wow, that's a big change. I, I, I like the change on the side of Ghost Gaming. It, it allows him to be more annoying. And that's just simply put. When, when you're staying alive longer than you should be, you are being annoying. Yeah, I love the way Space Station's playing this. They got a kill on Rushies, who puts himself in such a bad spot. That's the criticism of him for sure. And now they're swinging the fight over, trying to force a two-front war here. Rezik's going to go down. Revive's going to come through. And now a five-on-three opportunity right now for Space Station. If they want to take those numbers, they want to push that B-Hill, this is their chance. See, they are getting Beautiful. angled out. Pinch two from each side. Both players are going to go down. Flank from Rushies. He's going to get one. Puts himself in a 1v3 and gets the trade. But like you said, those are those positions that Rushies puts himself in that might not be the best, especially since Space Station still has three members alive. They have map control. And so that was basically all for nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think Rushies rotates low side there. I think he pushes the 2v1 with Identives. He captures the A hill. He spreads out the map. That's the better decision than pushing. He did get two. That's a big play. But look, the two kills didn't mean anything. They're going to come off spawn here. And they're going to be able to re recapture B-Hill. That's what I'm saying. If, if you're going to go something like that, you need to at least get three, four kills, try and even it up before you get that trade. But once again, Rush is off a respawn. We just saw him die, and now he's the first person up there. So that's who you know, at least going positive for Rush. He's, he's a head down pusher. He gets to where he needs to be fast. Speedy getting that first kill on Craze. Ghost Gaming have control up, up top, forcing Space Station back. So not only are they going to get control, but they're going to get that cap. Rush is going to pick up a double kill. You see the up A's coming out, leaving Thubsy all by himself. He's going to take out Rush. He's going to fall to Rezik, so that was three kills for Rezik up top for Ghost Gaming. So much respect for Rezik as a player. We all know what he did with the United on that roster. Of course, competed back in Gears of War 3. Not many people know this. I didn't even know this. I was talking to this event. He actually almost replaced Noxious on a Synergy roster back in Gears of War 3, who, of course, were back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back champions. But he couldn't go to the event. He couldn't travel because his report card, his mom wouldn't let him. True story, 100%. I know that feeling all too well. <laughs> Bad report cards? Yes. <laughs> Anyone in school, if you want to get support from your parents, do good in school. My, my rule was I had to get A's and B's to keep competing. You better believe I got A's and B's because I love Gears of War. And it paid off for you in the end. <laughs> oh, stay in school, kids. Ghost Gaming doing a good job winning round number one here. They're off to a good start. They win the initial, and what it really was is the retake. Space Station did a good job on the retake, forcing a two-front war, picking up a kill on Rushies, and then winning it. They were not able to defend and Ghost Gaming was able to just throw some bodies, throw some smokes, perfectly placed smokes, might I add. Did they practice that? Do they have a, a set break strategy, PR? I, I think placements. for the most part, any team would have a, a set big strategy. You know, you got to, for the typical thing, you usually have a guy in bull that's trying to land to you. So, you know, make sure one of your smokes got to go in bull. One of them got to go above the set. And then the other one's kind of situational, depending on what the setup is. Yep. You have it. And then PR, former coach, he doesn't, he doesn't brag about himself enough, something to brag for him. Former coach of Ghost Gaming, former competitive player as well. Former teammate of mine, back in the PR on the Funky Bunch days. We got top four at our last event together. And now, here's a big push. Right now for the up top fight. B Hill High Drone gonna trade out one. Rushies though picks up two and Ghost Gaming is gonna win. Oh wait, hold on here. My dentist and Phelpsy for the bread. Here comes Sleepy with that flank. Sleepy is their force spawn. Typically plays apples. That's going up against Phelpsy, who does that same spot, bouncing around, trying to catch somebody off guard, put full red. He should finally be taken down. 
And I want to point out how Phelps he played that. I know he died, he wasn't successful. But he does something that we've seen players really do in Season 2 often. He fakes one fight like a steam train, turns and baits the other to try to pick up the kill. Ghost Gaming is all over it, though. But if you're an aspiring Gears of War player, it's a smart thing to do, especially in, uh, in team-based escalation matches. You see it's going to slow down just a little bit. Space Station needs to cut off a respawn, find their way up top. And one person is already going to be down on that S4. But if you look at the bottom half of this overhead map, 1v1 on Barn going down. And this could be huge. If Jack could somehow win this fight, that could put him in position to Lancer in the window to get anybody on the backside. But he has to win this fight first. You see Rushies, he's forced to back up. Rushies get a little bit red. Oh, no. Forced to back oh up by Jack. God. And now he's going to get help from Rezik. 2v2 going down. It does look like Phelps. He didn't hit the shot before, but he gets the one around the cutter on the other side, taking out Rushies. Now they're going to look to press this fight against Rezik. Rezik full red. He's going to back out. So is Jack. And Rezik's able to get his health back here. Slowly, but surely, though. Can they tag him up? No, he's going to stay red. He's going to go down there. I think that's actually an example of 2.8. If you wall bounce too much, you will not regen your health. It's a new feature in 2.8. Not everyone knows about it just yet, because, of course, 2.8 is new. But you got to be able to, you got to be smart with your wall bounces. You can't wall bounce too much, otherwise you won't regen your health. Rushy looked like he almost got that kill off Jack with the triple cap coming out for Ghost Gaming. This is their opportunity to go forward right now. Jack down by the teammates of Rushies and another one that's in that room. Pushing out, forced back. Jack full red narrowly escaping along Phelpsy, but B does go in favor of Space Station. A and C in possession of Ghost Gaming. Wow. And, and look at the score. And look at that. Oh, Identives. doesn't need one hill. Identives taking a page out of his, his former teammate Ribs' book. With the overextension, I don't know how they did that. They were down a five on three, and their was able to sneak away to get that sea hill, and that was enough to secure them the win. Space Station needs a three cap domination here. Of course, you win the round instantly if you capture all three hills. So all eyes on this A hill at the end of this fight. Let's see if they can do it. Look at this. Turtling back in their spawn. 195. 207 is the magic number because it takes three seconds to break a hill. Oh, no. Hydra. Rushies takes out one as well. It's not going to be looking good here for Space Station. Ghost Gaming is going to survive. Let's get back on track. We couldn't have... <laughs> Let's wait an hour. Let's, wait Let's an finish hour. this Let's back at finals here. Ghost Gaming winning yet another round over Space Station. Not a lot of talk just yet. They know they got a whole match to go, but you see the smiles for Identus. He's so loud, outspoken, and coming from Latin America, you can tell the, the grind. Not only do you see it in game, but you see it out of game. Because... This Tell me, guy, you live with the guy. I, I live with this guy. Tell me about it. What's his daily schedule like? What's a day in the life of a dentist? He, he grinds the gym. Oh, all right. Which is VOD. Physical exercise. In his bed, yes. Well, that, that's one VOD thing, off. Yeah, that's one thing I, I noticed for Identives is since he's gone to the gym, and, and he has a lot more energy. Does he? And, and that translates into the game because you know that fatigue doesn't set in. You can play yep. these long hours throughout the day. And, you know, with Boomshot coming out, you're going to keep that excitement up from your front spawn in yeah. Identives. I love that. And I, I completely agree. Working out, a lot of pro gamers and League of Legends across multiple esports titles will tell you. Working out, exercise might seem silly for video game professionals, but it's crucial. You're happier, you're more physically active, you're stronger, mentally stronger as well. And now, speaking of mental strength, Space Station needs to show exactly that. Down two to zero right now. Not looking good for them. This rush is getting first blood on Jack Rise. Crazy. Getting that boom shot, dying with it out afterwards. That's going to be in possession of Rushes. He's quickly put full red. Boom shot coming out. Could it connect with Krim? He actually didn't kill himself. I'm a little bit unsure, but I think it made it through the gate to the, the ground. Game, yeah. Otherwise, it would have killed him. But four dead on the side of Space Station. You see Ghost Gaming threatening. And this is what I like about Rezik. He's making sure to get in. Because if they turn around and fight Rezik, they won't be able to get the touch. And now they're just crowding in. Ghost Gaming 3 to 0 over Space Station. They're beginning to run away with this one. Yeah. Ghost Gaming, a strong reclaim team. That's exactly why the three brilliant and beautiful handsome analysts, charming analysts on the desk predicted a 2-1 win for Ghost Gaming. They're, they're a strong team, especially under claim to map three, but we all know Space Station has tenacity. Let's see how much they have left in the tank here. This weapon, I, I would think Space Station don't want to throw another big weapon down, so it's going to be probably one of those side weapons or maybe frags in the middle, but it's going to be having person on the side, on the home levels. It's not really even going to make a big impact here in this game, so it should to be maybe somebody capping the hills in a 1v1, four people up top, or you know what? You can even go for a trick strat. Not cap the hill, run straight through Brian, Lancer, everyone in the back, and try and get your team the upper hand. There you go. Well said, PR. We'll call from Coach PR himself, now analyst PR for Ghost Gaming, and of course a caster, a broadcaster on our 
Gears Pro Circuit staff. Jack of many trades here. Big fight up top. Boom shot up there. 1v1 down Smart. low from Rezik, but I want to see the actual top here. Because it's heating up. Hydro takes out one. Double kill gonna be picked up. Jack is gonna look for it. All up to Crazy. Crazy gonna come out on top. Phelpsy, his duo, wins one as well. And Space Station wins the initial. Four dead. All up to Rezik right now to stay alive. And with these respawn timers getting longer and longer, that's gonna up their chances of being able to solidify themselves with a triple cap. They just need to be able to put that pressure on. Identum's on the respawn, so they need to kill Rezik sooner down. rather than later I'm to down. keep this staggering Help. of the respawns going. Four members up for Ghost Gaming, so they're gonna have multiple opportunities to possibly touch oh. Identum. Get that kill on Krim. Boom shot wasted by Craze. What can happen here? Can Space Station close it out? Oh my gosh, two booms. Negative one kills, one on his teammate, who of course was down, but... That's a missed opportunity. Space Station can't close out a three-cap opportunity that they really should have PR. It's the fourth round. It's 18-second player respawn timers. You have 18 seconds and two boom shots to win the round. you got to close that out. Yep, especially now, Speedy getting a kill on Hydron. This is going to be Ghost Gaming opportunity to make this comeback push. As you see, multiple members on each side of Space Station. They're swarming in. They're trying to get this pinch. Rezix actually flanks Speedy. Rushies picking up some kills, so Ghost Gaming still have the advantage here in this map. Ghost Game is playing so well. Their rotations, their plays, Identives is being sneaky sneaky as well. They are on top of their game right now. They're looking strong. High drone. He's gonna keep him alive actually, but barely. He needs to crawl on the hill. I've never seen this before. He's gonna get the break as a down <laughs> member. He's crawling his way in. It's not gonna matter. Ghost Gaming goes up four to zero. Three rounds away from securing themselves a ticket to the championship finals for an epic rematch against Optic Gaming. I didn't even know Rushies was down there right in front of him. Like, we were on Rushies' screen, crawling into the hill, getting that break, but it just wasn't enough. Space Station seemed to be coming out flat here. They need to gain some momentum, and they need to do it fast, because the last thing you want is to go down 6-0, 5-0 into the half, and... With these weapons, frags in the middle, I want to see them either go for a trick shot up top, maybe go for nades, try and throw them up top while they go and funnel Ghost Gaming into boom. That would net some good kills, but it's just all a matter of can you execute it. Yeah, I love it. I, I would love the same thing. A trick shot from Space Station, I think is necessary here. Pulled out of the bag here. Let's keep an eye on the overhead map. We'll see who goes where. Standard, two up top. And meanwhile, one apples. Two mid, though. So two mid, that's an early opportunity for Space Station to take the 2v1. They're not going to cap their home hill. They got to take their numbers. They got to take them quick. Not a, that much of a trick strat, in my opinion. Come see with the frags. Identums with the boom. This is why you need to get those frags down rather than later. Because yeah. Identums is down. He's going to get snow. He's up. And he's taken down after that. Nice job by Space Station. Now, that's three dead. There's no reason, if you are Space Station, that you lose this round. Two alive. Take your numbers. Find your 2v1s. And finish here. 20 second respawn timers, four dead. Make that three speedy. Sleepy off of respawn. They know where Resin's at already. They know where Sleepy's gonna come from. They have an opportunity here. No. This triple cap. No. The last Frag. second touch. Frag grenade coming out. They didn't even get the decap, so oh, that round is gonna go in favor of Space Station. But they still try to fold the run. Yep. And I was, I was actually screaming no, not realizing they actually capped the Sea Hill. I thought he left the Sea Hill to throw that frag grenade. But they capped it. They let his teammate finish that off, and he was actually just gonna throw that nade to secure the uh, three-cap domination, because that means they, they couldn't get the break, they would have died to a nade. That's actually a really smart play from Phelpsy right there. One of the better nade users, nade players, going back from Gears 3, he was disgusting with incendiary grenades on a map like Hotel in Gears of War 3. And in this game, same thing. That was one of my favorite maps. Hotel? That and Rustling. Me, me too, man. Rustling King of the Hill. Oh my gosh, man. Talk about hype. Oh. I lost my voice every time casting Rustling King of the Hill. It was no Always exciting. Better. One of the ones that come to mind, NTR versus Infinity, oh Wimmer Brawl. Gosh. Look it up. Me and Fatal Striker cast that one, I think, right? That was an intense match. I do believe so. Yeah. Check that one out if you have not seen it. Who was it? Infinity versus? NTR. NTR. Notorious. Yep. Ice Winter Brawl 8. Soldier, Phobias, and Go, Dispensa. Dispensa. Tommy Dispensa. Versus Atmo. Shout out to Dispensa. Flames, Ammo Flames, praise. Ribs, and Praise. That's a, day. That's a throwback if I've ever seen it. If anyone in the chat knows who and what we're talking about, shout out to you. You've been a fan for a minute since the Hype Station days, watching Gears Esports well before the $2 million Pro Circuit. We were competing in, pro, in uh, ballrooms. I was flying myself out to cast because I loved it, and it was a good time. I'm bored now with High Drone. Here comes the push. High Drone to 1v. And it's going to be a double down here, but Sleepy gets the revive. Boom shot in the hands of Identus. He's already putting it to use, getting a kill. Two members alive for Space Station Gaming. Ghost 
I know they like to be aggressive and they need to start being aggressive now. Jack trying to do what he can. Identum's gonna take him out. He's gonna have to be stay and cap the hill. The rest of Ghost Gaming is gonna move around the map and try and solidify themselves with a triple cap. Four to one lead as of now. Trying to roll in, get this reset on that one. Now it's up to Felsy Fragonet coming out. Not able to connect, but it did push him back. Ghost Gaming, five to one. Steamrolling Space Station in our tiebreaker map of these losers bracket finals. Space Station needs some life. They need they need something, Paul. What, what do they need? A complete change in strat. I, 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 you know, I, I don't agree. Of course, it will be the second half here. So they do get a reset. I don't agree with that boom shot placement up top. You're, you're playing into the hands of Identis and Rushies, great players up close in, in quarters. I don't like that placement of a boom shot up top. I think they need a boom shot either mid-map or down low. And I, I think you're right with that, but I also think the crowd needs to give them their energy. The crowd... I, I know the chat is probably blowing up. Toby Campbell probably holding it down there. But we need somebody <laughs> to hold it down here. If you want Space Station to win, you guys need to step it up now and give them your energy. I cannot agree more with that. We got the best damn crowd in the game here in San Diego. And if we have any fans of Space Station out there, you got to start giving them your love. They need your help. They need all the noise, all the help in the world right now, especially after the start from Ghost Gaming. It's hard to cheer when you have nothing to cheer for, that's for sure, PR. Yep, it looks like, like that. It's another triple cap opportunity for Ghost coming out. Speedy's going to get the trade. Felsey, one of the last members to fight for a touch. Oh He's going to get taken out as well, but he did get the reset momentarily. So did Craze. Three members are Space Station trying to push up, trying to get another reset. Doing all they can, and these trades are going to come out in favor of Space Station. That's exactly what you need to do with your backs up against the wall here. But Rushy's on the flank side. He did get one, almost getting two. Stopped by Kray. Space Station still in this one. And Identity needs to die here. He needs to die. It's a 3v1. Angle him out. Lancer's out. Don't let him survive. Find your 3v1s. Find your numbers advantage. They instead take the 3v2, which is quickly going to become a 3v3. I think he had a hustle out of there. Oh, no. Speedy. Beautiful up a wraparound shot. No longer a mental shot. Rip to the mental shot. I retired that one at Liverpool. I said it. At this point, we can call it the speedy shot. He loves to do it. And he's one of the players that does it so perfectly on thumbs. That's true. He doesn't play with thumbs. He doesn't play claw. He doesn't play with an elite paddle, or at least paddle. He might play with an elite controller. He doesn't play with paddles. So one of the few default players. He holds the controller just like the millions and millions of Americans that hold the same way, not like a claw. Lots of action going down. Lots of back and forth action, I should say. It does look like Space Station are beginning to lose this fight over towards Bar, but Speedy getting the down and kill on Felty before being taken out. Identum doing what he can, so no, he's actually not taken out. Saved by the Latin American star. Make that four dead for Space Station. Ghost Gaming already beginning to push up. You see Rezik, you see Identum, and I know that is Rush. He's pushing up. Rush is going to be the front line for Ghost Gaming. He's going to get taken down quick. But Rezik trying to back him up. The rest of the members of Ghost Gaming, but that is Hydrone. Finally showing some life, getting a double kill, protecting his hill. But if you look at the score fallout, trailing by almost 100 points, Space Station need to start getting some offensive going for themselves and killed over hills at this point, assuming you got to get that decap. Yeah. It's uh, looking bleak. Keep in mind, in round number one of the second half, it's, it's tough to win off of a recap domination because the respawns are going to be coming in. They need to get five kills here. They need to do it quick. Frag grenades should be helping. They're not going to help enough. 207, E Hill's gonna be broken. Somebody needs to get in the hill before 207. They're gonna do that. They get one, but a good job by Rezik and Co. to shut that down. Rushies as well. And there you have it. Ghost Gaming is on fire. Six to one. We saw Space Station come back from a 6 2 deficit on map number one. Never before have I seen a 6 to one comeback win for any team. Let's see if Space Station can do it here. And they need to have a big decision to make. It's going to be a boom shot in the middle of the map. So they want to start to get this snowball rolling somehow. They think a boom shot's the way to go. Jack, only two kills, 12 deaths. Wow. He's going to have to be the one, number one person, in my opinion, to step it up for Space Station if they're going to make this comeback. Phelps is doing everything he can. 14 kills, nine downs. Good, good performance from a uh, few members there. It's a tough situation, obviously. Because you're playing a hot ghost gaming spot. Tough to fight against. Here we go. Could be match. It is match point right now. Opportunity for Ghost Gaming to close this one out and punch their ticket to the grand finals. Speedy, Rushies, the duo. Who was it? None other than them two to pick up some kills to start things off. It's looking great for them. And in map number two, I said it's the battle of international superstars. The Latin American superstar himself, Identives, representing Mexico, is looking strong. Of course, as I say that, he dies. I'm sorry, Danny. I apologize. And that, that to me is, is kind of weird because. 
Speedy, I know, wanted the triple cap right there. I know he's trying to tell him to get the hills first move on out. Connecting with Jack. Decap gonna come out in favor of Space Station. So life being prolonged here from just a moment. Sleepy or Speedy with no shotgun. So we're gonna look for him to put this Lancer fire down and just try and solidify the uh, the round side or the surrounding area of the hill. Oh, King Craze has something else to say. He picks up a double, make it a triple from the man from Scotland as he's gonna pick up three. He's not done yet. Flying for the three cap right now is Space Station. Full red of speed, he goes down. Phelpsy now, is he gonna go for the break? No, he doesn't go for the break here, he goes for the kill. Should be fine though, but that means they're not gonna get the break here automatically. Rushies and Rezik trying to get some kills. If I'm Space Station, I wanna finish this right now. You can't let Ghost Gaming fight the way back into this. There's one. There's two. Phelpsy, the duo of Crazed, picking up a double of his own here. Space Station looking okay, but not good enough yet as Ghost Gaming hangs on. Finally, the flank's gonna come through from Hydro, and there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen of the crowd, give Space Station your energy right now. They need all the help in the world here to bring this one back. They are down six to two in this one. They have a mountain to climb, Mount Everest, in the form of this 6-2 deficit. And they're just laughing. One round at a time. That's what you know, they did laughing. map number one. They just took it one round at a time. Ended up coming back six to four. I do believe, or six to two. Six to two, they brought it back. Now they just need six to one. Now it's six two. So they've already done this before. They've done this before. Been there, done that. That's for sure. Quick block's going to come through. Ghost Gaming not worried. Much like they weren't worried in the first couple rounds of map number one, of course, we barely see the reverse sweep type of potential. Completed. Usually you get to 6-3, you get to 6-4, and finally the Ghost Gaming closes it out because of the coin toss type of fight by the Boom Shot. It's going to be tough to do here. Let's see if Space Station can pull it off. It's a very similar strat to the round prior. Rezik going to be the aggressor towards that top bond. Smoke going spot. out. This is where he's going to get position. Phelps is sneaking away with that Boom Shot. Now it's up to him to put it to use. This is a good start for Space Station. Now it's all about the rotations and getting the kills that matter when they matter. So you gotta make sure you don't just get random kills. First boom, going to waste. But it did facilitate two kills by Graze. Did get the downs on those ones. Sleepy, Speedy, and now Identus falls to Hydro. Three members oh, of Ghost Gaming it. are dead. Good opportunity for Space Station to try and push up. And, and look at what Phelps is doing here. He's making sure to take every corner wide. He knows Rushies is the only member alive. He knows he could hide anywhere, but another missed boom shot. So that's two failed boom shots by Phelpsy, but the round will continue in favor of Space Station as Rushies and the rest of Ghost Gaming are forced to push forward. Decap going to come oh, no. out, so this round is going to be a little bit long. Space Station gets one down, not going to get the kill here. That could be costly here. All members of Space Station and Ghost Gaming alive right now. Five on five, default situation here. Who can clutch up? It's going to be Speedy. He comes out of nowhere, out of the smoke, emerging like a man on his white horse or steed as he gets a kill. Should I say black horse with this ghost gaming black and white? Craze now looking to do the same. He takes out Sleepy. Four on three. Can they finish this though? Is the question. Identus. He's gonna get tagged up full red. He's gonna go down here. He gets taken out. The flank comes through from Jack. And Space Station's gonna add another one to the board here. And slowly but surely, this crowd is getting on board the hype train that is Space Station. Look at Rezik. He, or not Rezik, sorry. Look at this man Rubix. He's saying, we did this before. One more time. Space Station down six to two map number one. They brought it back, they won seven six. You see that score on your screen. Can they do it again? This would be historic for the Space Station squad. Ghost Gaming wasting no time, putting those frags down low. I, I do think it's still gonna be some very similar strategies. Boom shot middle isn't something that you typically see from teams in Gears of War, but right now Space Station trying to throw a curveball at Ghost Gaming on their way to a comeback, winning two straight rounds, but they need seven rounds total. That's four more from this point. Look at King Craze with 25 kills. Arguably the best player in Europe has been for quite some time now. Boom shot on the board. Who's gonna grab it? Phelpsy goes for a one shot on Identus, misses that, but the flank's gonna come through from Rezik through window. Rushies has nades, keep an eye on those nades here. They could be crucial. And look at Rezik, he's aggressive here. He knows that Crazed is weak, and he's gonna get the kill. Rezik putting his team on his back, but he's gonna get shut down with the boom shot in the hands of Identus. He picks up a dental, a double kill. Identus from Mexico is looking to close this one out with a double kill of his own, make that a triple kill actually with that boom shot. 
should be all over as you see it coming out nobody from respawn from space station ghost gaming gonna close this one out seven to three and they advance to our grand finals for a rematch against optic gaming wow and there you have it ghost gaming going off to face off in the rematch against